Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 9 where the uh, party goes on an ocean voyage to far off lands filled with more skaven. Time to fight a kraken guys. Let me just look up what CR that is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking epic first fucking episode sea squid just <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take all eight, eight, all eight attacks on bacon um, so I could throw a kraken at you it would no. be the end of the game, but I could throw a Kraken at you. It's uh, CR18. Yes. You would instantly level up like three times. I vote yes. I, I vote no. Melee. Two arms plus 26. 2d6 plus 10. 19 to 20 threat range plus grab. Eight tentacles plus 24. 1d8 plus 5, plus grab, and a bite. <laughs> plus 26. 2d8 plus 10. <laughs> Reach 20 feet. Oh my fucking god. Uh, yeah, 290 HP, 32 AC, immunities. Oh god. Immunities to cold and mind affecting and poison. Uh, what else that's fucky? Fortitude plus 21, reflex plus 12, will plus 11. No spell resistance though, so you lucked out there. You might whittle it down with magic missiles. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Feats, bleeding oh, critical, blind fight, cleave, combat expertise, critical focus, improved critical arm, arm improved trip, multi-attack and power attack. Uh, how much was 90 gold for to like four tr uh, health trainings or how much was it? Uh, it's uh, 90 per health point. Okay, and how long it takes? Uh, two days or four days? It takes three days. Three days, okay. It's the, day, it's, uh, the days it takes for the cost times your current level times 10. So each training session takes, you know, that much and you're just you know, with the other warriors, just it's probably like one guy from the other, uh, like, really experienced party, and Lash came just making you lift weights and keep your balance while, I don't know, smacking you in the gut, gut with a stick to toughen you up. Like you might expect. Building yes. your physique. Oh, yes, bodybuilding. Man, if only we had uh, steroids on this dimension. It's it's called a uh, bull strength spell. You have some. No. No, if we had more permanent steroids. It's called a wish spell. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so I can get uh, two uh, times training, so I can get two HP. Yes, while on the trip. Demi. I have 23 HP now. Yes. So, the trip starts. You set out. The sailors tell you to stay the fuck out of, um, out of their way and to be ready to fight because, um, you know, just in case foamers show up and, like, you know... The only reason they're taking this trip at this time of year is because there's at least, you know, adventurers on board to help with the fighting if it comes to that. So, you you know, better pull your weight if it comes to that and just... Yeah, totally. Um, What are foamers? You know, one of the uh, guys from, like, again, the experience party is going to pull you aside and he's just going to start telling you, Oh, kid, you're going to love this. Have you ever seen a rabid animal? Yes. Okay. Have you seen a Slytherin looks at Lashkin training bacon in the, on the deck? Okay, I'm getting the picture. So, do you know what a foamer is? A foamer 
is a rat that drinks up of this red shit that you see floating all around us, gets real fucking crazy, and then goes a pirating. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> fucking based. Uh, do, do they uh, accept uh, weird humans on their group? No. Ah. Even if I'm foaming? <laughs> that does bring a good question, though. Like, if that's the case, then um, this Blood Sea thing actually makes you want to be a pirate. Nah, they just like killing things. Piracy more of a, more of a bonus to them. Anyway, kid, wanna play some cards? Yes. Okay. Okay, you you come on right with me. Come on. Start sleeping you below the deck. <laughs> See you guys, I'm gonna go gamble our savings. <laughs> How heavily would you like to bet, Demi? Okay, what seems to be there in I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the uh rules of the table essentially what is the uh, i'm not gonna go in hard if they're not going in hard i mean the sailors are gambling for silver the <laughs> and the other guy's the only other adventurer there but he wants to push it at least into gold pieces <laughs> don't worry guys i got this i'll i'll I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll play a little bit not too much like uh probably maximum bet is gonna be like 10 gold uh-huh. Ooh, big better. Demi, um, <laughs> I'm gonna need a bluff check. I'm scared because these are skilled individuals. Oh, no. Do normal rogues get bonuses to bluff? Normal rogues? No, I'm getting one mine from the, uh, vigil stuff. Okay, so he should be having something like a plus 10 then. Just from skills, and then presumably if he has some charisma, let's throw in another two for that. Okay? Demi, you play over the uh, next couple of days, and, um, well, you're up 20 gold. The, um, your new friend is a lot less eager to force you to pay, especially for high stakes, and the sailors absolutely hate the both of you. <laughs> Amen. So uh, next you can put another 10 gold in the party sheet. Yeah, I'm going to best way to make money. <laughs> Amen. So, um, Nyaxi. Yeah. Lily and Luther are presumably going to be over, going over the scrolls they have acquired and the spells and the plans for uh, various contingencies, among other activities. Yeah. Now, you don't necessarily have individual rooms, but... Um, I mean, I doubt that's going to stop you at this point. And the sailors really aren't going to disturb two magic users who are... <coughs> busy? <laughs> this is not a healthy <laughs> occupation, especially after you threaten them once or twice. But, I will say that uh, this happens at one point. Like, a couple of days into the voyage, Luther is gonna invite you to come up on the deck because he wants to show you something. Lily, so I've been working on this. I know you wanted to try this uh, out, so thought I'd uh, give you the opportunity a bit early. And uh, he's gonna cast a spell and boop you on the nose. I see you. You are now under the effects of the fly spell for uh, five minutes. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I feel something wrong gonna happen soon. <laughs> I'm five days from retirement, guys! This is my last adventure! Uh. Ooh. 
what do you do with your uh, newfound ability? Uh, I fly around a bit carefully. I, uh, I'm not that good at fly uh, because, you know, it's still kind of away from uh, me. Well, you get uh, <laughs> two levels of, uh, or plus two bonus to your uh, fly skill while doing this because of the spell as well. Uh, so I'm at a plus four. It's not too bad, but... Yeah, so... Bacon, as you're training, you just see Lily just casually by the side of the ship going... Fucking spellcasters. <laughs> I, I continue to do push-ups while our rat is hitting me with a stick. In the... <laughs> He's like hitting the back of your knees to try and get you to collapse as well. <laughs> Yeah, he'll, he'll do that a couple more times. He took Fly as one of his uh, additional spells that he added with cash. Just in case. And, um... Let's see. That one he wouldn't have yet. Uh, other than that, I think I, we talked about what he... Else he has. Oh, he also took Fox's cunning to buff himself. That's smart. <laughs> and uh, Charles, what are you doing uh, during the voyage? Any preferences? Uh... Go to the lookout place. Fuck you, Denley. He's a dwarf. He's he's not good with heights, Demi. He's not used to being that <laughs> far off the ground. I mean, it looks it, it, it's the closest thing to a mountain. I legit have fucking uh, fear of heights, so no. Demi, that that's the thing, right? They're not used to being on the mountain. They're used to being under it. All that sky makes him uncomfortable. You don't understand. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess I... I'll try to train with Lashkim a bit. Okay, are you guy. trying to train something specific? No, just, you know, sparring every now and then. Okay. Bacon, Charles joins in on torturing you. Nice. <laughs> hey, Charles, get on top of my back while I do push-ups. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think you can carry that. Make a strength check, Bacon. Roll 20, uh -huh. roll 20, roll 20. Does Jack, it. does Jack have to make a climb check? He, he gets like a inch off the ground before... <laughs> Oh, come on, my... I have 400 pounds on lift. Wait, he's with armor, right? Yeah, with yeah. armor I can. And your joints are kind of black and blue from being constantly pummeled, so um, you're not at your at the top of your game. Maybe if I start screaming, I can do it. I try again, but with rage. <laughs> sure. Okay. Nice. So he starts, you know, pushing off, and how many rounds of range do you have? Uh, 13. Okay, so he manages like 13 push-ups before he collapses and just like... <gasps> just this wheezing sound. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Keep it up and you'll be uh, there in no, no time. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing? Merwin? Yeah. What would Merwin be doing? Uh, watching someone? Oh, that depends entirely on how well he rolls on diplomacy. Hold up. 
Oh right, I didn't assign their new skill ranks. That would have definitely leveled up by one. So it should be this. Are you stalking Jack Lauren? <laughs> <clears throat> Merwin has been confined to the sleeping area by the captain because he kept trying to seduce two of the burliest sailors. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the captain didn't approve. So he's on house arrest and straight up not having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to, you know, bring him, be the one that brings him the food and shit. Oh, that's a risky endeavor, Jackalore. How's your will saves? Why do you ask? <laughs> because he makes an offer. <laughs> he uh, just sort of... I... You wouldn't want to keep me company, would you? Just sort of... That's the bedroll. <laughs> He's your height. <laughs> Flashes your winning grin. Kind of like, I'm joking. Unless... <laughs> Never find you know them. <laughs> and that's the last time you bring him food. Yes, that's the last time I bring him food. <laughs> okay. Eventually, after a uh, tense journey down the coast, and uh, constantly watching uh, for danger, you approach the Walled Warren. All of you will have taken turns guarding the deck of the ship during the night, so why don't you give me a perception check each to see if you've seen anything fucky in the meantime. Okay. Uh, missing Charles. Perception is right. Okay. You just have to find where it's like there's the trap. Perception. Hey, I uh, rolled something. Mm hmm. So, Lily and Demi on deck uh, one night will see a winged figure far in the distance flying over the swamp. It looks big. Hard to make out what it is, but uh, definitely not shaped like a normal bird. Psst, Lily, do you see that? Yeah, I can make it out barely. I mean, same. Do you think that's another mommy? Come again? <laughs> do you think that's another one of the mommy goddesses? Or do you think that's a papa, or is something just big? I don't know. There's a seems to have wings. It's times like these where I think maybe maybe we should buy a spyglass. Do you wish to roll knowledge arcane? Uh, sure. I don't have that. Or you can roll religion if you suspect it might be a god-based thing. I'm gonna go with religion. It's probably not a divinity, it moves too similar to how a normal animal might move, but uh, it's way bigger than any normal animal. Wait a second. Who the fuck knows? I think I got it. It's a T-Rex. Or just a dinosaur. It's flying, Demi. T-Rexes don't fly. It's flying T-Rex. Ah, it's a fucking pterodactyl, you retard. <laughs> Ruff just speaks up from where he's just trying to get his muscles not to seize up. If you need help, you look like you just survived three strokes in a row. 
Bacon, you can uh, roll Knowledge Arcane as well. Presumably they are rotating this in as, you know, whole adventure parties taking shifts rather than individuals. Oh my god. <laughs> Chad. You know, it makes sense you've been obsessed with this. You think that might be a dragon? Wait. Is that a fucking dragon? Dragons weren't supposed to be here. Uh, the legend Celta were extinct a long time ago. You know, thinking about it now, a dragon probably fits better than a flying T-Rex, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the, what's the difference, honestly, Demi? What is the difference? Uh, what, what, color, what color it was? Tell me what color it was. You can make it out, it's twilight. Just the general no, yeah, shape asking, reminds you of a uh, dragon. I'm, I'm asking them because I probably can't even see it that well. You can once they point it out, but they can't tell either. Yeah, that, that's probably a dragon. We have to find it. You would know with the natural 20 that there is also such a thing as rack dragons, and those are definitely still around, which are like elementals that have been um, twisted together with physical matter by titans to resemble real dragons. Okay, so it's 50-50 that's an actual real dragon and we have to find him, or it's a horrible creature made by corruption and the titans and we are going to die if you find it. I'll say no to that, but if we do find a real dragon, I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So it's like 90-10 that you will die. Whether it's, uh, you know, a real or not real dragon, it's pretty much guaranteed you die. Uh, Demi, I don't think you can seduce a dragon. Actually, it depends on the color, but don't try it. I think only one of them will allow you to seduce him. Him? Yeah, I'll, I'll say no to that then. Think oh, like yeah, a no. copper dragon or whichever are the tricky ones might appreciate them, maybe, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, but it's not going through my head now. Is there a dragon mommy? Not in this universe, but no. usually yeah. yes. Uh, there isn't. That's actually a good point. There is no dragon divinity on my deep research on dragons. I didn't find anything about that. Just ancient legends about the dragon empire being so powerful, even the gods were like, let's not fuck with them too much. Amen. Amen. Okay. And then you approach the walled warren. Now... You can imagine what a rat's nest might look like. We are all familiar with Skaven. This is like halfway between a normal human city and that. There are multiple sections surrounded by separate walls, including a wall that comes out to shield the harbor, leaving only the entrance open. And inside are vast agglomerations of houses, shanties, walkways, etc. And I have found an appropriate picture to give you an idea of what it's like. It is narrow, it is claustrophobic, and the rats have a nasty tendency not to be as instinctively, um, you know, you know, about, they're not as uh, eager to keep a personal distance as most people are by instinct, you know? They brush yeah. up against you, they are in your face, and it's just perfectly normal for them. So you're in this constant, constant stream of rat folk as you move through the city. Yeah, Wait. I just look at the city, just, ah, uh, I always wanted to visit Rio de Janeiro. It looks like I imagined. Were we here to kill rats? Nope. You say that in Russian, right? <laughs> when you're surrounded by them, right? No, no. What were we here for, then? You're heading into uh, the swamps, bitch. We are... So or... this is completely normal... We're getting... Now, 
we're getting down and dirty. <laughs> or the good rats invited us to an expedition to the swamps and to kill bad rats, you know? Okay, these are the good rats. Yes. Yes, they follow the god of law and cities. Well, they follow all okay. gods equally, but uh, Hydrada is definitely a, a favorite. Okay, just making sure, because I don't want to <laughs> kill the entire city, you know? Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I would just give them the basic instructions on how you, you live in Brazil. So, uh, that's how you live in a city like that. <laughs> you don't leave your doors open. You always carry the, your precious items on your front pocket. You don't go into corners alone. Sometimes walking in the dark is better than walking on the light, and the light they can see what you have to steal. And always wear armor in case you get stabbed. Yeah, so presuming this is happening on the gangplank, while you're, you know, getting ready to offload, Arazia tells you that, uh, you know, there is a inn called the Nod Cheese, where you can meet uh, the uh, leader of the Ratfolk uh, part of the expedition, and she will meanwhile be heading over to uh, the chapter house to check in, of the morning nights, that is, and um, she hopes that she is not mistaken about any of you, and you are capable of walking through a city without getting imprisoned or burning anything down, and that she won't have to bail you out. Ah, oh, we were perfectly fine of that. Okay. And they can uh, promise something you can't uh, uh, you can't guarantee. Yeah. Why do we have someone capable of burning things on our group? Yes, all of us. We know how to make a fire. We I mean, this. our light, uh, our uh, fire starters can't start a big fire like that. We would need uh, something like a psychotic cat mage with flaming hands to start a fire. Will a fireball <laughs> spell do? Let their speaks up. Oh, fuck! We have a we have a <laughs> crazy elf. <laughs> he Not gives you like a crazed look and grins wildly, it's like here. <laughs> you know, looking at the splice would probably be an improvement. Well, uh, let's let's make our ways to, way to the Gnad cheese. Okay, so. <clears throat> some of the uh, other people here are gonna ask some of the locals for instructions. Gonna get them. Does anyone want to um, try and help navigate through this shithole? Uh, would that be a survival I... check? <laughs> I, I guess I can do it because, like, this is basically for a cat a second home. You know, you have to know the the layout <laughs> of the enemy's home. You know. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck's the role gonna be? Um, make suggestion. What do you have that could help? Um, obviously I have talking abilities, but fuck that. What about knowledge local? Uh, sure. I'll allow it. Do you have Slytherin as a language? I do, actually. Okay, then uh, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Somehow, somehow, you charming cat self, even when surrounded by red-eyed rats with large teeth who seem big enough to take you down, which makes your kitty instincts go eep. <laughs> because when you have a group of cornered rats, they can rip you the fuck apart. Mm -hmm. You manage to make it there. Now, one of the things that is um, interesting here is that virtually all the rats carry some visual symbol of their allegiance to a given god. And among the crowd, you notice some of the uh, less nice ones as well, including Belsamet and Chardun. 
Chardoon fair. Monster Mom, I mean, we get it. Monster Mom likes fur is a furry. <laughs> uh, Oof, you tell her that. Are there any rats with the Fango thing? Oh yeah, a few. This is like the port district, so a lot of the uh, less desirable elements like adventurers are kind of kept in this district. What the fuck? I was only gonna get to that later, Nyaxi. Don't spoil it! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than the uh, eight, or counting the nine, uh, nine big gods, uh, there are certainly a number of rats who uh, also have allegiances to the, uh, shall we say, smaller deities, the demigods. In particular, there are a uh, fair few to the Mother of Oceans, and... Uh, you know, other appropriate gods and goddesses that govern specific things that uh, impact the working of the city. Eventually, you arrive at the Nod Cheese, which is... Um, well, this building is uh, kind of built in the uh, Vesian style. And the city itself, it, there is no unified style. You see buildings that uh, look... Middle Eastern, you see buildings that look Vesian, you see buildings that you can't figure out what they look like, which are completely alien, and um, it seems like the rats have um, no unified harmonious vision of the city, they built whatever fancy struck them at the time. Very, indiv very individualistic compared for a city that's filled. Mm -hmm. The um, styles of clothing, any jewelry that they might have, etc. Also, the styles differ wildly. It's uh, no unified thing. The rats are almost like magpies in that uh, anything that strikes their individual fancy, they just claim and use. And there's definitely a fair few that are just looking at how you are all dressed, going like, hmm. Demi, with his uh, bling and uh, his uh, shiny black armor, is uh, definitely drawing some looks. Amen. That's what it's meant for. Oh no. Demi, you are, you are getting their looks. You have to figure out what is the dominant uh, gang, and you need to flash their symbol to protect yourself. <laughs> All in due time, Ralph. All in due time. <laughs> also, don't be getting any strange ideas of making a gang here. Oh, why would I make a gang here? Eventually, I don't know. you arrive at the Nod Cheese. It is the sign is a large circle of cheese with one corner that has been eaten away, and a rat is. Just poking its head out of the cheese with a mad grin on its face. Like it's on the edge of a food coma and just in pure bliss. I think we found a place, guys. In this uh, would represent it. Mm -hmm. Inside, funnily enough, there are a fair number of people. Most of them actually human. With a, a couple of elves. One or two dwarves as well. Jackalor, luckily, has grown out his beard in the last few months. So he does not get a, a shit dirty look immediately. <laughs> in uh, one of the corners, there is a group of rats, including one that is wearing uh, the robes of a uh, magic user and uh, is more, um, shall we say, um, groomed than the rest. Is he... that the person we're supposed to find or look Ah, uh, yes. He is, um, for the lack of a better term, the guide. Oh, 
Oh, uh, well, let's, let's go over there. So, the big-ass adventuring party of, uh, <laughs> like, 12, 13 people starts tramping in. Just, uh, see him straight and just roll back. Hello there. What language do you use? I'll start with Slytherin. Okay. He, um, nods. Uh, you are from Mr. Sarazia's party, I assume. Yep, that would be the case. Okay, well, um, bad luck for uh, you. Uh, you're gonna need to bunk up pretty tight. There is a party from Durover uh, looking for recruits to uh, shore up the defenses in the war against Calastia, so... Um, I think the inn is pretty full at the moment. Um, one moment we can go back to... Uh, do you speak Vashian, actually? Now let me check. No, no I don't, but I do speak with the inn. Okay, that'll be good enough. Uh, let me just translate that real quick. And I'll just inform the rest, essentially, who don't, maybe not, or don't speak Slytherin, that, um... Inn's full, we, have, we gotta find a place to do a bunk up, essentially. Yeah. Place is tight. Ha, huh, yes, as I feared, we have to pledge our allegiance to one of the local gangs to get a resting place. <laughs> the way he implied it was that, uh, like, the inn isn't full full, but, uh, like, you're gonna need to double or triple or quadruple up to a room. Because, uh, you know, there's a large party of recruiters here. Join the US Navy, guys. Service in the Foreign Legion guarantees citizenship after two years! <laughs> That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Two years is like yeah. no time at all. Yes, on the front lines against Calastia, which has like. 20 times the total population of Darakeen. Good luck! I mean, it's still a good deal. Just don't die, five heads. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried not dying, bitch? But yeah, uh, do anyone have an issue with uh, sharing tea room with m way more people than normal? A little, but... Gonna what they are just... In. Sort of just... Rolls his eyes and just get goes dunk against the uh, door frame like fuck. <laughs> no privacy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's. If you're willing to squeeze up and don't want more, shall we say, comfortable accommodations, then, um, you know, each party can effectively have a room. Uh -huh. Call me crazy, but I don't think we can find better accommodation here. So that just might be me saying that. Yeah, you could we try, probably... but... Uh... We can, but it's going to be hard and there's a good chance that we do something very wrong. I mean, I can try. It's fine, just uh, kill some of the recruiters, rooms will free up immediately. Not a bad plan, honestly. <laughs> no one's gonna miss uh, them. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with uh, everyone sharing a small room. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Then... I... You're gonna enjoy this because uh, they're gonna ask a gold piece a night for the room, given the uh, massive shortage. Hey, can you haggle them, you? It's a gold piece. It's a, lot. Of, it's a lot of money, you should haggle this. This does include breakfast and uh, dinner, though. I mean, How long I... are we gonna stay here? A week. Oh my god. It's seven gold pieces. Hear me out. Haggled. If we're gonna stay for a week, right? Maybe it's better if we then go try to look for a better place. I'd be willing to spend more money for that. Where we don't have to spend a week squeezing in one room. Y 
you should at least try to haggle the price first. Because if we don't find another place and we go back here, there's no way he's going to lower the price. He may even raise the price. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Fine. I'll try. Okay. And, you know, using Slytherin just be like luck. There's not, there's like 12 of us going to be in that one room. Like, bruh. <laughs> <clears throat> like, and they're going to be like, like, uh, you know, we're, we're sorry. Like a lot of people have uh, come to the city this uh, past autumn. They're going to be, you know, here till uh, spring. There's recruiters here. They're going to be here for months. Like rooms are at the premium. Supply and demand, my friend. Uh, give me a, a diplomacy check. Okay. So, you haggle. And, um... He's still gonna fleece you, but he's willing to go down to... 12 gold for the week for all three rooms. So four per party, plus meals. Yeah, actually, that's a good deal. Okay, then. Deal, then. Okay. You may subtract four gold. <laughs> Mervyn is gonna step up, and let's see if he has the languages. Well, he has Ledean, so that's good. And, um, Demi, do you have Ledean? I know Bacon does. Yeah, I do. Let's see how he does. <clears throat> so, you're not entirely clear on what he's asking at first, and then you realize, he's fucking asking for House of Ill Repute. Like, uh, whether there are ones that cater to uh, non-rats. <laughs> I mean, what, what's this issue? He should be the same size of a rat. I do have, As I in, do have... no. He makes it clear that, no, 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 no. He doesn't want normal people. He wants to try a rat. He wants a rat that's willing to go oh. with normal people. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to ask, though, on, and this is the pure... How... I know this is placed like a shithole shit almost, but how... clean... Not... I just look at, at you, look, if this city looks like a very like my home, so not very, unless you go to the expensive place. This place, it's, it's reasonably clean. It's not much dirtier than Chisun's Inn, but um, it's just more populated right at the moment. So they're probably having, you know, more... Uh, more trouble keeping it as clean because it's packed. It's a it's a rat place. There would be a lot of fur around. Yeah, there is a lot of fur around, but uh, not as much as you might expect. This one is. Uh, it looks like it's a place that caters to foreigners, which partially explains the high prices. I'm going to try and lean in. I'm trying to listen what the pricing is, if, it, if that's mentioned at all. Like, um, normally? Or for houses of ill repute? Give me both, if I can. Like, in terms of ints, uh, there's uh, probably some discussion around. So, sure. Let's say that right now, the price you got is uh, still like double what you might uh, normally expect, or nearly double. But, um, you know. Cool. Now the house of ill repute. Well, the rat is uh, giving Merwin a list. <laughs> and um, then he's going to launch into asking if uh, he knows about any worshippers of Idra around here. Okay, okay. 
Well, the... I'm just gonna try to like listen in. I'm I'm interested. Call me interested. So you got like a total of uh, twenty extra gold for your gambling. If you are willing to not go to like top end places, you could uh, keep yourself in uh, booze and bitches, for the lack of a better term, for the week for the uh, other ten. I made this money myself. I'm proud of it. I'll do it. <laughs> so, you watch as after just watching Mervyn talking to the innkeep, Demi's like, okay, um, <laughs> I'll be back in the evening. See ya! <laughs> just walks up to Mervyn. Uh, Demi... I'm gonna need a uh, fortitude save for you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're good at this, right? No, I have plus two because I'm a rogue with a constitution of 12. Okay, we'll um, see how that turns out in the evening. The rest of you check out the room. It's the kind of room that would be Kind of comfortable for a single person, a little cramped for two. With four, I mean, there's just enough room for, uh, you know, all the beds or bedrolls, but uh, not much more than that. It's a place to, you know, lay down your head. You don't want to be in here cooped up with everyone else if you can avoid it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it brings me flashbacks of a trip I did some time ago. Ah, tourist places are fun, aren't they? <laughs> yes. So, Demi is partaking of the uh, joys of the city. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I have to continue my training, so just ask the guy uh, where there's a place I can uh, do exercises while people punch me. can tell you that um, one of the outer districts has a uh, fighting pit um, to Vangal, but um, the strategos of that place, um, like if you die in the fighting pit, that's on you. Like the rules there are uh, a bit more relaxed than most uh, foreigners are used to. No, no, I, I don't want the fighting p uh, pits of Vangle this time. Just actual uh, physical training, not uh, combat training. Lashkim just sort of um, pats you on the shoulder. Come on, I know, please. Thanks, mate. And I just go with him to continue my torture. Okay. What about the two of you? I mean, if Nia wants a bodyguard. No, I, I wasn't thinking about going out, to be honest. I was just <laughs> going to study some magic in the room. <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't need, know you needed that. It's fair enough. Oh, Lily has no. been meditating for 15 minutes every morning. Gathering energies. Yeah, I would be a little afraid to get lost out there. The city seems like a mess. I'll just stay in the tavern, I think. Okay. Some of the others are uh, also heading out. Uh, Siho is just in a corner, just like fur bristling, just watching everything suspiciously. <laughs> She's straight up not having a good time. Yeah, one, that's a good point. Would my uh, Diba from uh, Xenophobic be applying? Oh, yes. Very much so. Like, Lashkim is cool. He knows how to behave like people. He's one of the good ones, but everyone else, fuck no. Fucking rats. <laughs> Never like people from Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> okay. So, about an hour later... Razia walks in, looks around, 
Where's everyone else? The tech alert, you're probably down there. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, Lily is upstairs with Lathair. The star bandia. <laughs> you know, creating noise pollution, let's say. Oh my fucking god. So what the fuck is happening? None of us are here. There's like four people out of twelve in the common room. <laughs> She's like, okay, just get settled in, I'll be right there, we'll talk about next steps, essentially, without saying it. Everyone around us are We're in a new phone. town, let's go nuts! <laughs> Wait, but you're still here. <laughs> you're preoccupied. I mean, you know, she's like the tour guide, and she looked away for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, where did everyone go? <laughs> uh, Demi went to fuck bitches. Both Excuse me? Fuck up bitches. Wait. Both the fuck up bitches. And Lily is fucking a bitch. Okay. First off. That's some spicy fucking language. I am a priestess. Also, what the actual fuck? She just has to shout, we're here. We didn't leave the house, you're just using the time constructively. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah. Just, um. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. I expected it to take a little longer than this, but no, I figured this would happen. Oh, fuck me. Turns to a. Uh, one of the other priests. Okay, listen. I have a mission for you. <laughs> Pulls out a, a bag of gold. Go to the local constabulary and wait for them to show up. If I'm right, you'll see one of them before the evening. <laughs> Good thinking. You could have stopped them, you know. I'd argue against that, but I'm not very good at arguing. Fine, fine. I need to discuss with Raj about uh, about where we're going anyway. And she's gonna head over to the uh, rats and uh, start the talking. Just check what the languages are like on her. Oh, she just has Vesian. So she has one of the priests translating, so they're going real slow. And, uh, Charles, if you wish, you can join in. The uh, rat wizard has, at this point, pulled out a... Uh, Several rolls of parchment and is unrolling them on the table and just placing, you know, various things in the corners to keep them open. It looks like a very detailed set of maps showing like a lot of white and just a mapped out uh, route into the swamps, leading to the uh, ultimately to the edges of uh, a city. And he's just drawn in with a uh, his own hand, just the rough outline of how far the city reaches, and you know. Talking about how long it's going to take to get there, probably. You know, place seemed empty. As far as they could tell, they didn't go past the outskirts, but uh, no sign of, uh, you know, unredeemed uh, Slytherins. So, probably something nasty there, or many something nasties, but the uh, place seems clear and uh, should be safe. Since, you know, obviously the greatest threat is... 
an organized war band coming at a party like this. And then they start going over what abilities they have. You know, turns out that Leterre has Fireball, which is good in case they get attacked by a large group. That will be very helpful. Just nuke the fuckers. <laughs> and uh, so it proceeds. Willie, considering how you have been proceeding, I would like a uh, fortitude uh, check as well. Okay. You do not face exhaustion yet. <laughs> Eventually, the others start um, start showing up. Except for uh, Demi and Merwin. I'm gonna need to do a check for Merwin. Oh. <laughs> So, Demi, it is late when you finally find your way to the Nod Cheese after making like three circuits through this area. Uh, please uh, set your uh, hit points to three below the max. You are scratched up to high heaven. You are drunk. And... Uh, you vaguely remember Merwin trying to seduce a rat that was better groomed than others, but uh, things are kind of a blur at this point. <laughs> so, is my max HP down or is my current HP Your down? current HP. It turns <laughs> out that the rats, when they get um, excited, on occasion bite or scratch. Hurts, but um, it's a good story. <laughs> Cool. Uh, tip, 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 type the tippy toe stealth in my room like I was always there. <laughs> so you walk in. Lily at this point has um, come down for dinner and either gone back up or uh, just chilling, listening to the discussions of various plans and resources. Bacon has finished training and is probably, again, rubbing sore muscles somewhere. Most of the recruiters have uh, gone to bed, so it's mostly just your party and the uh, rat adventurers here. And uh, the door opens, and you all see a cat just sort of sneak in and start heading towards the stairs, and then turn and see all you watching him. Ah, oh, fuck, I thought you guys were sleeping. Narazia just watches you like... Uh, good evening! <laughs> According to your fellows, and let me recall the exact wording, you were out fucking bitches. Would you care to elaborate? <laughs> I wouldn't refer to him like that. Um, but the concept <laughs> idea is correct. <laughs> Just motions. Come here. I'm gonna straighten myself up a bit. She's gonna cast a spell on you. You are lucky that morning nights, when they cast a spell, it has the additional effect of a uh, remove disease spell. But uh, it's a good point. Uh, Demi wasn't fucking bitches because the term for female riots is though. So he was fucking those. He was fucking <laughs> those hoes. <laughs> and your wounds heals. She, she um isn't fucking you over. She's just channeling like a cure light wounds to. She's, she's not mad. She's disappointed. Oh no, you can tell that she's mad, but it's the kind of, like, what did I even expect kind of mad. <laughs> so, the next day, presumably most of you are gonna continue. Jekyll, or do you wish to continue hanging with the uh, main group? 
learning important info that could be useful later. <laughs> yes. All right. So, Lily. Yeah. Well, there is going to go looking for a nice open spot in the city, of which there are not many, and then he's going to cast Fly on himself and you, so you can take a look from above. <laughs> Do it. Man, how messy does the city look from above? It looks kind of like a beehive, and that in that there are multiple sections that are each sort of walled off. Like it's been expanding in sections, building a new section of wall every time that it uh, happens. Towards the center, like, it looks more orderly, but uh, there are occasional patches where one style predominates or another, but overall, it looks really messy because the rats... Well... There's always the next new thing to try. Well, that's, that's interesting looking, at least. <laughs> it does look also pretty big, like uh, this would actually be considered a small city back on Earth. Just like tens of thousands of these fuckers here. Now, Demi, more of the same. No, no, I had, I've had my fun. I'm going to now be serious mode and now trying to focus on the um, important yeah. details. Sure. Arazi sends you out uh, to retrace your steps and find Mervyn, who never came back. Oh. <laughs> I'm good at That's not going to be hard. That's not going to be rough. You see, I'm just going to go and lo be uh, looking around... Uh, for a certain uh, the specific brothels we went in, it's like, hey, have you seen a little uh, a horny little guy? <laughs> so roll a diplomacy to see how quickly you find him. I'm gonna roll a natural one. Okay then. Okay, it uh, takes you two days, and uh, the path leads you to the center of the city. To a house of a wealthy rat family. You find Merwin hidden in the servants' quarters with a stair leading up towards the lady of the house's rooms. Damn! <laughs> you walk into the kitchen from the back. Look, he's like, Oh, hey, Danny! Fancy meeting you here! Yeah, I had to uh, look around the entire city for you. Um, congratulations. Um, mighty impressive. Oh, yeah, the time does fly. I've been having fun. Uh, I could notice that. But um, Arazia wants you back. I've nearly convinced the uh, mistress of the house to convert. I need another day or two. I can buy you a day. Okay, thanks, mate. No problem. <laughs> okay, so what do you tell Rasia once you? Were... No, I'm. I mean, I've been looking already for two days, so still looking. <laughs> Make a bluff check. Why do I always have to roll low and bluff? Oh. He just looks you in the eye. Tomorrow evening he's back here, and I don't want to know anything about it. That's actually perfect, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Okay. So... You're going to be here for another half week after that, so is there anything else you want to do, or if it's just, uh... I, I am interested in just one thing, Chris. Mm-hmm. 
we're in Rat City, right? Uh huh. Rats like cheese. How is the cheese quality here, honestly? It varies. There is definitely a cheese, but it's... How's your sense motive? Decent. Make a roll. You figure out pretty quickly. They treat cheese as a meme. And there's a lot of cheese delicacies that also are coincidentally very expensive that they offer the tourists. <laughs> Damn, and here I thought we could make a cheese party. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, inform, I'll inform the party not to buy cheese. Unless they really want cheese. It's funny, it's... Um... There's always some uh, sort of cheese component to the uh, food they serve you at the inn. Amen. They even have this uh, hot coffee-like drink that they sprinkle with cheese that melts on top. <laughs> like real degenerates. Amen. But yeah, I'm just going to actually now try and focus on the uh, details because somebody's going to have to fucking remember this stuff. Mm -hmm. Charles is just like that going, uh, <laughs> I've been abandoned in a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Demi is doing that. Bacon, other than training, is there anything you want to do while you're here? No, just training and staying at the inn away from the weird rats. Okay. Lily. Uh, no, nothing else in particular. Sure. <laughs> and Charles, you're just trying to be the dutiful son while everyone else is being a cunt. Basically, yeah. Yeah, um... See who else was going on this. Oh right, the dude that was gambling with Demi calls you teacher's pet at one point. Me? Uh huh. Fair enough. <laughs> Some of the other dwarfs will inquire uh, where you're from and where your family is from, and. Uh, you know. Recount the deeds of your ancestors, essentially. <laughs> uh, I was kind of raised by humans. I... They just have this look. Oh, you. What's kind of show? Listen. How long are you going to be here? Probably like a week. Okay, just... So you're not staying with the Razia. They are going to insist on dragging you off to teach you about Dwarven culture. Fair enough. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. They're going to tell you about the mountain home and the glories there and... The rites of passage you have to go through before you're considered a man. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Quickly hide your foreskin. <laughs> it's, no, no. it's too late, they're already locked on! <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're... Um, they're gonna tell you that, you know... In order to be a real member of Dwarven society, you have to go to the mountain home or a major Dwarven settlement so you can be accepted by your own. <laughs> you two fuckers. <laughs> and then, so, any other preparations you want to make? I know last session you bought a bunch of stuff, tents, supplies, etc. 
Brazi is going to tell you that in a uh, emergency, the clerics can provide some food and drink, but uh, creating that out of thin air takes a lot of magic, so best to avoid that. And uh, the city there is fairly big and probably has enough nastiness in it for the titan worshipping rats to not have bothered, since they usually love to settle into ruins. So it's going to take a while. So week there, week back, probably I, even if everything goes perfectly, at least a week there. So more likely two or three. So plan accordingly. If you can, get enough supplies for like a month and a half. So uh, how many rations did we buy or something? We have a week worth, at least in group stuff, plus whatever you guys have in your inventories. Uh, so we should buy another month and a week, I suppose. Yeah, do that. And we're placing it on Donkey, I think, anyways. Do we have Donkey with us, actually? Yeah, you do. Okay, good. I'll buy some salt. I think I'm running low at this point. Sure, you buy another bar of soap. The innkeeper tells you that Donkey has been extremely foul and um, tries to bite anyone that goes to groom him or feed him. And when you go to check on him, he's actually friendly towards you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, I'm training him well. I just pat him. Yes, good Donkey. Bite <laughs> weird rats. <laughs> He gives you a spooked look, like he's straight up not having a good time this last month. <laughs> yeah, I, I will, the time I'm, I'm on the inn, I will spend some of it with the donkey. Okay, sure. But I don't think we need to buy anything else from supplies. We got rope, we got the tents, we got all the essentials, I suppose. And we got some magic stuff. Mm-hmm. So, the party is going to be like a high-level adventuring party that's going with Arazia. It's going to be the Red Folk guides that are going to take care of the camp. And for exploring the rest of the city, it's going to be you guys and the uh, NPC adventure party you picked out. Overall, there's going to be uh, four priests, including Arazia. It's counting her. So, her and three others. And... Um, one is always going to be at the camp, and in terms of exploring the city, the plan is that um, there's going to be some of the guides and one of the priests just staying near where you're digging into shit, and so that you can rush back to them if something goes horribly wrong, and you need healing or revivify or etc. Which does mean that you and the other party sort of have to agree to explore in kind of the same-ish area. Or take turns. Uh, but that's the plan. Varage is going to be there. He has the ability to cast spells to... Um, to uh, do mapping. Effectively, he can use a spell to create accurate maps of places he's been and seen. So once you're done clearing a place out, especially if it's something important, he goes inside, makes sure there's an accurate map of it, adds it to his uh, set. Same with where Arazia is going to be heading into the main temple. <clears throat> Your job, since this expedition is there, is to effectively bulk out the forces so any big nasties don't fuck with you, you or you can grind them down through sheer numbers and recover anything useful you can find for the good of the people of Vesh. Hear me out, guys. I think we should all search at the same time, not take turns, and make it a real rat race for treasure. Was that supposed to be a pun? Yes. I didn't get it. Yeah, it's, it's an American thing, I suppose. Ah. Uh. Makes sense. In, in terms of um, firepower, Varage is going to be with the group 
pro well, he's gonna travel between, but he's likely gonna be with the group that um, is gonna be exploring the city, as in, you know, as the uh, safe point you can retreat back to. And he is a level six wizard, so he has some artillery at his uh, disposal, should you run into something truly horrible. So keep that in mind. How many times he can cast a fireball? Uh, he's gonna have one prepared. Okay, so yeah, we it's, we shouldn't bring several hordes. We need to uh, aggro all the little rats and bring them all at once to him. I am gonna tell you what he has available that is gonna be useful to you. Uh, he has detect secret doors, which he can prepare. Normally he won't have that prepare, but uh, on request he can switch it out. He's gonna have identify, unseen cartographer. Of the high level spells, he's gonna have dispel magic, fireball, mana spear, and clairvoyance. So he can take a peek behind like a uh, locked wall, etc. If you think there's like a secret somewhere. That's useful. Or just a blocked corridor to see if there's anything worth, the, if it's be, worth yeah, digging. Yeah, that too. And then, resist energy he's not going to have prepared because uh, Sihu is going to run like two preparations of that, so it's not really necessary. But he has locate object on uh, among the level two spells. So if you're looking for something specific, once per day he can try and pinpoint. Other than that, um, well, like I said, there's gonna be one priest in the camp, one with the party, so some of those slots are gonna go to revivify. So mostly level two buffs and below you can ask for, they're gonna keep like at least one slot for lesser restoration, but other than that, you, they can. Uh, is anyone going to, can you cast magic, mage armor on someone else? I was wondering if you yeah, want mage armor. You can cast mage armor on someone else. That is okay. a buff, though it's not one that Varage, actually no, he does have it, he just doesn't have it prepared. Oh, and he also has alarm, so he will be warding the camp at night to make sure that there's less of a chance of something sneaking up to you. Yes, alarm is great. But yeah, uh, uh, mage armor could be a good buff to cast into people that don't actually have armor. Yeah, so... Like, if you want specific buffs, that's... Like, that's all things that you can effectively buy. Like, if you need to run back to him, or if it's something that's a threat to the mission, you know, that's uh, effectively free, they're just gonna nuke it. If it's something that you need in order to um, break into a vault, then uh, pay up. Yeah, but I think we won't need any buffs on the beginning. We can just start exploring. Oh, evil. Uh, that is a uh, level two for clerics, right? It's level one. Oh, yeah, you can get those easily. I think they'll last an hour or two, or maybe multiple. Uh, probably it's on the compendium. It should or be. Clerics. Sean. Protection from evil. Yes, it's a level one. It lasts one minute per level. Okay, that's not nearly as good. That's not, that's not it's good if you know that you're hitting a place that's definitely fucked. Okay, so they should probably have it prepared at least a few of them. Like, um, generally speaking, the priests are gonna be prepared for healing first and combat second. And they'll prepare buffs on request, like if you think you might need them. Ah, okay, that's fair. Do they, can't they uh, spontaneously cast healing? Well, yeah, like cure uh, spells they can spontane spontaneously cast, that's true. Yes, maybe the prepare does at least. 
so yeah, you have two supporting clerics and uh, the one that's going with uh, Arazia is going to be another morning knight. So you have two people who can cure diseases really easily, which could be useful in the swamp. Um, as you're traveling, the Ratfolk uh, party is going to be taking the lead. And it's going to be a rotation of uh, who takes the back. So, any particular precautions do you, you want to take when it's your turn to um, bring up the rear? Mm -hmm. Keeping a watch on, and that's it. I don't see any particular strategy. Yeah, just... Um... We just placed the dwarf on the back because might... he's tank. And the bait. Buffs, they might want to have prepared uh, a bull strength, at least one, or would be nice. I mean, we have a scroll for that, so if any emergency happens while we are yeah, going like, there, we can. Uh, just so they don't have to rest, we don't have to wait a night for them to, if we run out of scrolls. Mm hmm. Because it goes away pretty quickly. Okay. Like a minute, but... So, a level 5 cleric, how many spells do they get other than the main stuff? Let's see. Because mm -hmm. that matters. I think it's something like 2 plus bonus 1 for level 3. Uh, level 5, it's 2 level 3. No, 1 level 3 plus domain spell, I think. Oh, uh, okay. 1 plus 1, I that, think that's due to... Yeah, wisdom. yeah. So one of those is domain. Hmm. Yeah. So one level three. Let's see if it gets bonus from having a lot of wisdom. Uh. Yeah, it gets extra for high wisdom. So. If the cleric has, at least, plus three on wisdom, gets an extra level three. Yeah, that should um, that should be very much a thing. So I think those level threes are probably gonna end up being revives, plus one domain spell. Mm -hmm. Which, given that it's Madriel, is probably something like searing light to uh, yeet undead, and Something. yeah, like a combat spell like that. <clears throat> okay, so you head out. You are very well prepared for the uh, cold weather and you have additional preparations in place in terms of magic should anyone need it. The swamp is a um, little less horrible during the winter. Much of the water is frozen over, if shallowly, so there's less of a chance of something crawling out. And presumably most of the parasites are dormant or have laid eggs that will only hatch next spring. But there is very much the possibility of picking up some predator or other that will be interested in picking off the party. I'm gonna need two sets of perception rolls from you. Let's start with one to begin with. Okay. I'm gonna say uh, Demi is the uh, one that picks up on this. It's a fair distance away, but you do see movement following the trail you have made. Looking more uh, carefully, waiting for, you know, like pretending to uh, fasten your boot, taking a peek out of the corner of your eye. It looks like figures on two feet, uh, with uh, the vague silhouette of rats just keeping among the trees and watching you travel. I'm going to inform the party. Then I'm gonna inform, you know, higher ups. 
yeah, you're effectively the rear guard, so you're maybe like uh, 150 feet behind. So if something yeah. was to rush you, you would still be within range for them to yeet a fireball over your heads and hit whatever is coming at you. Yeah, I'm still going for him, and I mean, I'm pretty speedy, especially when I take a run, so I can get there pretty fast, just in four minutes, fuck back off. Okay, so Demi tells you, there'll be rats following, what do you do? And then he takes off. <laughs> where, to, where, where does he take off? Towards the rats or...? Towards the around. party. Well, I guess he'll be getting order soon, so... Yeah, just get ready to rush the rats. Pretend I don't see them. You don't see them. When uh, Demi no, takes no. off, they are uh, going to cover. Oh. Yeah, just act normal, like there's no rats around. Okay, Demi, you rush ahead. The party seeing you coming up, it's like, oh yeah, here we go. Weapons just get hefted. Uh, someone reaches into a spell component pouch. Yeah, this one. Um, I know we're the rear guard, but um, are there supposed to be any more rats following us? No. Okay, there's the information then. So there's uh, a couple of rats essentially that seem to be uh, following us. Okay, one of the uh, priests gets detailed to keep an eye on the horses, and everyone else just starts spreading the fuck out. I'll go back to my party. Now, she's actually gonna tell you to, you know. Bring them back up so they don't get stabbed. Fair enough. Okay. Head back to the group. And, um... The rats... You can see them poke out in the distance. You know exactly where to look for and what they mean. But, uh, they ain't advancing. We have to pretend that, uh... We don't see them, so just lower our, your guard. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's stupid, given that we've spread out and we're ready to fight. I don't think they're gonna fall for that. Yeah, I don't think so either. Let's just fight them and call it a day. Oh, bless you, Charles. Let's not charge into an unknown enemy. This point, sure the uh, rat folk party is coming back. Raj walks up to you, Demi. Where? I'll, you know, essentially point out with, you know, head movements and stuff just to uh, not be too, way too obvious, but. Uh, in that general area. Okay. And uh, I'll give him the number of how many at least I saw when I didn't notice them. You saw like two or three. Yeah. Okay. So... That can't find creatures. Uh, Raj is gonna cast Clairvoyance. which lets him take a peek at an area at a fair distance. So his eyes just start glowing with a faint yellow light. So his uh, pupils open up and uh, he's gonna start describing what he's seeing, which is uh, another 30 or so rats uh, coming up behind the three and uh, starting to discuss among themselves of what the fuck to do now because uh since they it's, from what he's picking up they um uh, they're not really eager to engage because uh it seems like a bad fight for them <laughs> cool 
color me crazy, but um, isn't this a perfect opportunity to fireball all of them? I don't know. Can't know for sure they're Titan worshippers. That's a fair point. Could just be some random band of raiders. I mean, at that point, why not fireball them? Because they haven't attacked us or harmed us in any way yet. That's why. Yeah. But the raiders, they're gonna hit someone. We don't know that either. Fair. Fair point. They could be hunting for Titan spawn, looking for riches, as far as we know. Is this what you do, Charles? Do you just swing your axe first and... From, from behind Charles, I just do this with my head. <laughs> Viraj is gonna speak up. Mistress, they are within fireball range. They are right, and uh, they are clustered up. Just tilts his head. Uh, Manticora, um, Demi, um, yes. Have you met any rat raiders before? One of them is saying they recognize the cat. Yes, we did, actually. They um, attacked another adventuring party up north, and, um, well, we saved that party, and... Yeah, the raiders! Yeah, the, some of the rats ran away at the, at the time. We didn't get all of them. I think you got all the ones that were attacking the party, but um, before yeah. that, you watched some of them waiting where the uh, dock workers were gonna show up. Yeah, but they should be Fair. the same rats, or rather in the same group. Mm -hmm. So are they just traders? Are they titan worshippers? What? What are they? We kind of need Titan to know. Worshippers. Yeah. The Titan worshippers. The they had a Titan worshipping shard, shard. Or something with them. And they, I think, they were trading that little shard thing from before. Arazia just not okay. Do it. Let Bear and Waraj just immediately. <laughs> you hear a yell faintly in the distance, and you just see rats start <laughs> scurrying as two beads of light go <laughs> just see bodies scattering in every direction. It's a mess. A faint smell of sulfur wafts back uh, towards you as, uh, as the wind shifts briefly. And a lot of charred flesh. <laughs> You're pretty sure, like, a couple of them probably managed to scurry away, but uh, most of them didn't. The trees where they were hiding are go just burning merrily now, crackling in the frost. Oh yeah, it's winter. I forget. <laughs> yeah. Well, winter barbecue, am I right, guys? <laughs> oh my fucking god. You just baby. see this brief look of complete fucking rage in Arazia's eyes as... She barely restrains from herself from hitting you. But he's a rat on the side. He's the cat, right? I don't know. That is... No, this is not okay. This is not okay. 
We're natural born enemies, guys. You didn't even do shit. It was the I, two wizards just. Uh, 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 uh. We, we did our job as the rear god and noticed the enemies. Mm hmm. Just call an artillery strike. This is the American way. <laughs> I don't see any oil in the swamps, Danny. <laughs> we haven't dug deep enough. There is now. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay. So. The journey continues. You see no more of the rats that were presumably picking up your trail and a uh, couple of days later you are maybe another day away from the city when you are once again on the uh, rear guard why don't you give me a um, a roll of uh, perception and I will make an appropriate stealth roll Can't wait to see the plus 11 when in tall grass. Oh, Keck W. So, it's funny you should say that, Demi. Because you do indeed see a cat face with glinting eyes following. You first pick it up because the crackling ice under its huge weight. As it tracks you at a distance. And as you get a closer look, you realize... While you fought the tiger before and was suitably terrifying, it's like that tiger's bigger brother has found you and is tracking the whole party. Guys? Big tiger. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, it's a pity we killed the last one. Uh, this time I can get a pet tiger for us. Uh... You see the glinting teeth and you... Vaguely recall stories on Earth about prehistoric tigers with saber-like teeth, much larger than a uh, common-day equivalents. A saber-toothed tiger. We can't okay. even call, call him the name of that one from my sage. I don't remember what his name was. You can place yourselves tiger. at the uh, bottom of the map. You do have a little bit of distance. You noticed him pretty early. And he's behind us, so... I need a favor. I need this token to be set as my new default because I changed the number of rage turns I have. Did you also up your health on it? Uh, yes, the health is connected directly to the character value. It's just that the rage has to be manually changed every time. Okay, remove default token. Yes, delete. You select the token. Thanks. So. Let's uh, roll into initiative. It thinks that it's being very stealthy. So you'll have one round before it starts acting. So you can take a surprise if you wish. If you wish to be greedy, you can try and take this thing out on your own. Out of character, this is a very difficult encounter for a, a party of your level. Like, uh, you'll die, but you can try. <laughs> What do you guys think? Uh, I don't want to take him out. I, I want to offer some food to call. him. I want a pet tiger. Like, you guys want any buffs, Kaz? We have a round of all. You have to get a pet tiger pelt. Oh. I mean, imagine how cool would be your your dwarf charging in battle into the top of a huge tiger. If we are going to fight this yeah. and we do have a surprise yeah. round, it I think it is time to buff. If we're not, if we're gonna call for help, let's do that. 
then we don't have to like up. if you don't take any overtly hostile actions you might get more than one round because yeah. it might not recognize you buffing as a threat I don't know, fellas. Up oh. to y'all. Do you have any buffs you want to cast? I literally asked if you guys want to use buffs. I think we should call the other party or whatever. Yeah, we yes, have some old strength really and cool. we have some bears endurance. Yeah, okay. we have. We're not gonna yeah. spend our goddamn scroll. scrolls on this. We yeah, probably later. not. We have an out. Let's take the out. Okay, so we're gonna go and contact the other parties. Okay. Do you wish to take off running? Probably hold more ground and then have Demi go off running for the party. Okay. How far off are they? I'm gonna say that, um, just to make this simple, like the party you picked out, it's gonna take them two full turns after the fight starts properly and you call for help for them to arrive on the battlefield. So you need to either delay or, uh, you know, until then. Okay, uh, now as we are going to try to delay for a bit, I will continue with my stupid idea and I will take four of my uh, personal rations and I will just uh, drop them like slightly in front of us and just leave on the ground for the tiger to get. Okay. So you keep walking, pretending nothing is wrong. You look back. See the tiger just... <laughs> oh, sweeps them away. It's garbage. It, it, it's not wrong. He didn't eat the food. I'm offended <laughs> now. <laughs> that's, that's not how that's supposed to go! I'm really offended. I just looked my group. We are going to kill this fucker. <laughs> I try to be nice. I try to be fucking nice, but this little shit just so as Bacon away. raises his voice, then you just hear a low, just rumble from behind, just as if uh, some big clock is taking over deep in the uh, throat of that beast. Yeah, as I said, I'm probably gonna be going to get the other party. Okay, you want to start running? You can just call for them as a free action. Like right now, i am be honest with you, you guys look like the runts of the uh, herd that have fallen behind the group. I'm really tempted to cause a free action and turn around and uh, crossbow it. You can. And that's fair, if you run off, it might be very fast. It could catch you while we are. It's okay. definitely it's definitely faster than us. No doubt about that. It has four mm -hmm. legs. As you are discussing, you see that it is slowly closing the distance. Yeah, just call for them. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call. Actually Oh, it's the big ass tiger here. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's not let's not waste it gonna call and you said that's a free action right yeah so in that moment as well because i have a like crossbow i'm gonna try and uh crack shot the fucking tiger essentially mm -hmm. so okay, I, should I... I think it might be outside your normal increment uh, i don't know actually i need to fucking remember how much a uh like crossbow has in range uh Jekler, make sure to actually roll yourself into initiative and Demi is probably up first, so he goes first, and you take your effectively surprise round. Ah, uh, the range is 80, I think. That's what it is. Yeah, 80 bit. Would, would yeah, you like to step closer, Demi? How close? Okay, it's only 10 feet, guys. I can do 10 feet. So yeah, I'll, I'll get a bit closer just so I'm in range and then a crack shot. So let's see if this hits in the first place. Uh, so... Question, is this... I, this isn't really part of the surprise round anymore, is it? No, it is. 
Yes. I'm, I'm letting you it, initiate. It's not like it's expecting you to suddenly turn and fight it. Is there, because uh, I'm not sure, cause is there any bonuses to attacking if it's still surprise run, or do, is, are they just like... Well, well it's crazy. aware of you, so it's not flat-footed, but it's... Actually, no, it would be flat-footed. So yeah, you're targeting it's flat-footed. Okay, okay, so no additional attack modifier. Okay. Hey, uh, I did. And now let me just roll a sneak attack, because it has actually is flat-footed, right? Yeah. Yes. Didn't have that ready, so I'm gonna roll sneak attacks separately. Oh, fuck, that's only six damage. So eight, six, uh, fourteen. Okay, you see the bolt go in, sink into its chest. It just sort of glances down, like what the fuck, and then roars <laughs> in just sheer outrage. Jackalore. Connection is a bit shit. Uh, isn't Demi first? He has better. Yeah. He has a better bonus. Yeah, but I went. I already yeah. shot. Yeah. He pew pewed at it. Oh, this is a surprise round. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will. Yeah. Um. I'll step here and fight defensively. Okay. All right, Lily. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll step here. I think Bacon has a better bonus, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he might. Bacon, what's your dex? Uh, my bonus is plus three. Yeah, then you go first. Okay, Bacon. All right, I'm going to uh move just right behind. Jack Halor. Okay. Are you sure that your HP is correct? You should have gotten a total of four more, not uh, two more. Two on the trip and two in the city. Oh, okay. You yeah, had enough I time to two get... more. Yeah, so it needs to go to 25. And that should be a total of 360 gold for all the training. Yeah, it was only uh, reduced to half of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's better. Okay, so I just move behind Shackler. Okay, Lily. That's a big uh, cat. I move up a little so I'm not like, you know, away from the others. Like here maybe, and I'll cast Magic Missile because that's my long range spell, I suppose. So two hits. Oh shit. Oh, magic missile, but two magic missiles. Yep. Level three. Okay. They just hit the cat like... Poof, poof, in the cheek, just like a little bit of blood trickles down. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Now it's no longer flat-footed. Surprise round is over. Demi, what do? Uh, It's still out range. I'm still gonna fucking shoot it. Even if it's not flat-footed, I'm not going to go close to a tiger. Who the fuck do you think I am? A brave little kitty. You have to show your feline dominance. Well, feline dominance didn't hit. <laughs> yep. It didn't. Charles. Axes up. Charge. Uh, no. <laughs> You could just... No, charge is times two, so you can't reach it. Oof. Yeah, I'm fighting defensively again. Also, I'm going to turn all my... Oh, my camera and turn all my lights. Okay. Uh, Ralph, the dwarf is being a coward. Uh, I hide behind the dwarf. <laughs> so, since you're not attacking this round, I'm just going to assume that you're going total defense for the uh, plus four to AC. Yes. Yeah, basically. Okay, you too, Bacon? Same. Okay, Lily? Oh, uh, you know, I'll take a five-foot step to the left. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cast Magic Missile again. 
Okay. Am I in danger, guys? Okay, that's another uh, six damage. It just roars in sheer fucking rage and fury because what the actual fuck is this shit? Oh no. And it just charges and pounces on Charles. So pounce as part of a charge lets it make its full attack, just like a normal tiger, versus a um, appropriate enemy. Does that hit? Yes. Does that hit? Yes. Well, no shit, it's plus fucking 18. Oh well, god. What's the point of AC? Are, and you're still up, though. Uh, barely, but yes. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> You're in a high level area now, bitches. Uh, Demi! <laughs> so fucking big. Should it's my turn? Yep. I'm actually gonna. I am at 1 HP. Yeah. I'm going to delay my turn, honestly. Okay, uh, after because, cool. Because I want to go uh, kind of after Ralph, because I'm sort of betting on uh, Ralph moving into a position so I can flank the fucking tiger. Okay. Then you are now going to be on 16, I believe, is the way that mm. works. Ah, okay, one under, okay. So, fair enough. Charles, Chardoon's mace goes yeet. Yeah, uh, power attack. Okay. Ah, oh, bacon uh, went away. F. What? Hello? Oh, thank yeah. you, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Godspeed, Jackalore. Flat. Oh, I guess the tiger is not. Yeah. You said power attack, right? You uh, swing at it. Oof. Okay. Who's playing Charles then? Oh, not Charles, uh, Ralph. Is that usually Jack Lord's thing? I guess so. Uh, yeah, I usually do that. Yeah, pl plus, get into a somewhat of a position where I can hopefully flank from. I mean, he could just five foot step and full attack with rage. But he doesn't get. Demi. That, that's okay. That's okay. Go for it. Demi needs the sneak attack. You don't understand. No, 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 no. Full, full attack on, full attack on uh, Bacon. But it's mm -hmm. roughly equal if he uses the great sword to the claws. Yeah, for now it is roughly equal. Especially if he power... Actually, he gets more damage if he power attacks. Oh, actually, this so is an uh, uh, important uh, question. Jekyllor, what's your combat maneuver defense? I assume it's less than 20. Uh, 17. Okay, so... Yeah, 17. Yeah, you you are also being grabbed by it. So keep that in mind. I couldn't actually um, just just notify because Bacon's gonna be moving how you went. Uh, couldn't you actually make him so he charges or something? Not really. Hmm. You'd have to go like a long way out of his way. Mm -hmm. Like in. I guess in theory, maybe, but it would be super scuffed. Got it. So, Gokadens, showing. Mm. 
Maybe it has low enough HD to be stun Nyaxi. <laughs> yeah, for like one turn, probably. <laughs> that could save a life! <laughs> yeah, it could save a life. <laughs> I'll try. Uh... Oh, nice. Uh, does that hit? <laughs> Definitely. So, let's see, what was its total? Oh, it was that. Okay. There we go. Then, Lily. So if I go here and use color spray... Yeah, you, you can definitely right avoid your party members. It's a big beastie. Does let it 5 foot step and uh, attack you after Jacklor is dead, but... Oh well. Well, Demi is gonna come in to flank attack, though. Sure he will. I already calculated <laughs> Bold of you to assume. Nah, he's just gonna shoot the, think I did with the crossbow, isn't he? Oh, Will is its weak save as well. Yeah, weak means plus 11. No. Plus 5. <laughs> <laughs> One off. One off. Demi. I don't... Sadly, Lily's there, so... Uh, 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 going to basically, like, scooch around, essentially. Uh, scooch around and then uh, get into range. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, just trying to, uh, poke it. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, I get a plus two because I'm flanking now. Mm-hmm. Just your trusty circumcision tool? Well, I'm not really in the back back this time around, so. Sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Three. that is scuffed. So, Shurhan looks at the uh, dwarf in his, uh, in his claws and starts opening the can of uh, eatables. Attack one. Oh my god. <laughs> I am now very dead. You're, dead. you're at oh, minus so 14. So, you're not dead dead. That's good. <laughs> In the oh, distance, you fatally hear, Lily, I'm coming! It's gonna be okay, it's up to yourself. I have to mean to help you check it out. So, Demi didn't do shit, so this is gonna go against Bacon. Second claw. And a bite. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't think he's up. I I don't think he's up. So he's I, not up dead. Like no way he survived that one. Oh, fucking crits. Oh, and he crits all. The bite crits on a nineteen. I see. Uh... Okay, so you just see the la one paw just. <laughs> rake through and push the dwarf down just two glances yep that's not moving turns towards bacon just ralph just whew, other paw slashes blood sprays and then just eat chomp just whew, tosses the body in the air so bacon is at minus 18 that's uh dead dead yeah, they did. Alright. That would be correct. So, at the end of this round, the others arrive on the battlefield. You may direct the NPCs to... based on what you would prefer for them to do. While traveling, Luther does have Mana Spear and Fireball prepared for artillery, as opposed to his usual defensive stuff. So keep that in mind. Mervyn can obviously heal. And I should roll them into initiative real quick-like. And remove Ralph, because uh, he ain't going to be part of this fight. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Mervyn, by the way. Well, I guess we're all dead now. No, no, not yet. Mervyn, by the way, has a shiny plus one crossbow. <laughs> because he doesn't usually want to get close. <laughs> But I think I gave him something spicy for emergencies. Did those not roll properly? What the fuck, game? There we go. And over there. Okay, so you can each decide the actions for your favored uh, NPCs. So, Jacklor, you have Lash, Kim, and Mervyn, and Lemmy, you have Sihu, and uh, Nexi, you have Leter. Let me just double check that he indeed has. Ah! Mervyn has revived and inflict serious wounds prepared for level 3 spells. In case that matters. So, first up is Charles. Make a constitution check. Hello, Jackalor. Constitution check. There we go. No, not fortitude. Constitution. You're trying to stabilize. That's just enough. Lily, what do? Uh, I'll walk... i move here so I can hit out of colors player without hitting Demi. You could do that just with the, like a five foot step. Very yeah. well. Uh... Okay. Dire Tiger needs to roll a will save. Okay, so it is stunned for one round. Nice. And uh, it just starts just growling, shaking its head, trying to shake it off. Demi. Um. Does stun give you sneak attack? I have a feeling it, it might. It should, because I think stun removes the um, AC bonus from dexterity, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to uh, attempt to stab it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't think stun gives me any bonuses on hitting either. Let me check out. It re should reduce its... Uh... A stunned creature drops everything held, can't take actions, takes a minus 2 penalty to AC, and loses dexterity bonus to AC, if any. Hmm. Um, so, um, even easier, try time for me to hit, okay. So, it is at 13 AC. Watch me whiff. <laughs> I'm watching. It did. Oh! <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Which of you degenerates picked Marvin? That's Jacklaw, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's just close enough to heal Charles, but not close enough to uh, do the thing. Because he has little boy feats. <laughs> What else does he have that could be good? Yeah, most of these are kind of useless for this. So he has a bunch of level 2 spells that he could convert into heals. And he has Speak with Dead in <laughs> serious wounds and Revive for his uh, level 3s. So he can speak of Bacon, right? Yeah, he can ask Bacon two questions. How did you die? Did it hurt? <laughs> Yeah, he can he can make it to here with a move. 
So he could heal Chakalor. Yeah. He could convert the inflict serious wounds to... Or is that a full round action in Pathfinder? Casting. Okay. So, no. He can just channel it in. So, Jacklor, he could in theory heal Charles for 3d8 plus 5 if he sacrifices his inflict spell. Jekyllor, it's your call. I'm letting you decide what they do. I mean, I'm not sure I'm gonna do anything. Like, honestly, they might want to just inflict wounds on the guy because he can't make it in this turn. One less attack. He can't can can get a close track along. He can't get like I mean, right. One, yeah, sure. Or he can kill you for a little bit to ensure that you don't die. Because he doesn't know that you're, uh, you know, stabilized. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know if any heal would ensure sure. I mean, he wants to, but like, there's no real point in healing because I, the next attack literally kills me either way. Okay, that's a two, three, four. Oh, actually, he can't even make it to you anyway. Never mind, eat shit. He can't just use the crossbow, I don't Right. So yeah, he's gonna walk up here and he's gonna take a shot. Uh, just making sure that I have this set correctly. I think I do. <laughs> well, it hits. It hits and it does two damage. Okay. The tiger is stunned for this round. So... It shakes it off after this, I believe is the way it works. So now it's no longer debuffed, but it loses its action. So then it's Sihu. Sihu has um, Cold Lightning and Flaming Sphere for attacky spells, as well as a uh, domain ability for air called Lightning Arc, which is similar to what uh, Lily is doing with the uh, Lightning Bolts that, you know, the. Uh, I feel like. I feel like the flaming sphere might be good in this case, somehow. Because it can't really move, it's done right now. Well, not anymore, but yeah. No, the problem is, there... that has a reflex save. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's there now. And it's lightning is... Lightning is a reflex halves, so yeah. Yeah, she is gonna cast Call Lightning, I think, if you're cool with that. Go for it, go for it. And that's a shit damage roll. Let's see if uh, Shurhan uh, manages to uh, dodge it. Okay. Then, Luther. Uh, what about man Mana Spear? That that's a bunch of false damage, right? It is. And it's uh, pretty much undodgeable. And if it has any spell like shit, that will fuck it up. Yeah, just, just Mana Spear. Alternatively, he could move up and do Protective Ward, which would give all of you plus 2 IC, which is a uh, school ability. I don't think it's going to cut it. At all. <laughs> Just Mana Spear. Yeah, he's still going to kill him at all. Uh, alternatively, he could Glitter Dust it to try and blind it. But it has a save attached, doesn't it? It's a Will Negates, yeah. Or Ray of Enfeeblement, if you want to be super spicy. <laughs> I, oh. I can't have that much, much XP, uh, HP left, right? Oh, actually, this is the big boy play. He has two preparations of Ear Piercing Scream. Oh, that's Fortitude Partial. But if Shurhan was to fail the save, 
which would be a DC 15, which is unlikely, he would be dazed for one round. I, I don't know, I think the Nana Spear might be the best, uh, because it does a bunch of damage that's not dodgeable. Absolutely agree. Yeet. So the air ripples and just passes oh, into Shurkan, yeah. and you just see these modes of light scatter everywhere in all directions from the cat for a second. Almost as if they're blasted out of him. The cat, by the way, is well past half health at this point. And uh, then there's uh, Lashkim. Charge? Yeah. Okay. He is gonna charge. Swinging his Masterwork Longsword. And uh, taking a chunk out of the tiger's hide. Flash, can you motherfucker, couldn't you have moved one square to the right? <laughs> you can five foot step and you'll have flanking. Will it from here? Yeah. Okay. With large creatures, as long as you properly pass through any square they're occupying, you're good. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Charles, you're stable. Lily. You could still move up to, say, uh, here and try and uh, color spray. Or you can go for damage. The tiger's looking really hurt. I mean, uh, the rookie magic missiles are probably because burning hands is also a cone attack and it honestly doesn't do Oh no, that much. would be absolutely horrible, you have down party members. Yeah, I'll just, you know, move a little behind <laughs> and cast magic missile. Okay. Alright. The tiger is rethinking its life choices now. <laughs> hmm. So, I'm gonna say that it still had a bacon. Actually, no, it didn't. Stun means it dropped him. <laughs> so he can even drag off the body! <laughs> okay, Demi. I'm gonna do that five step. Five foot step. And this time, I'm behind it. I'm going for the weak spot. <laughs> right in the starfish, right? Well, I mean, probably gonna whiff again. Alleluia. Okay. The, um... <laughs> the tiger just screeches in unbearable agony and starts thrashing around as you just twist the blade and rip it out. It's still up though, I, barely. I, an enemy. <laughs> I think you might have made an enemy for what's left of your life, Demi. <laughs> Maybe Merwin will take it out. It's Mer Merwin. Like it out, but... Merwin is up. So, what do? Uh, half move and attempt to touch attack it with a uh, in inflict wounds. Okay. Brave. So this should be a melee. That is enough to hit, so he just rushes in, goes low, and just grabs hold of a paw. Oh. Oh, that's uh, incorrect. It sets spell failure on by default. Wait, it isn't even on. What the fuck? But, in any case, this is uh, 21 damage. Oh no, that's in the description, so 16. Yeah. So... Uh, the will save. Will save for partial, that's true. Oh, where's its will? It fails. So, you just see... 
crackling back black energy, leaving black necrotic streaks travel up its paws and into its face as it just... <laughs> Dud! <laughs> Collapses down, shaking the ground. Jekylor, Mervyn is going to cast Cure Light Wounds on you. The Triumphs at least stabilize you. And uh, then, is that enough to bring you above? It isn't, is it? No, I'm at minus four still. Okay. They're all just like looking for more threats, like, what the fuck, what the fuck? See who is just crackling with lightning. Bring him on! I'll take him on! Luther just casually just rolling a ball of uh, sulfur and bad guano between his fingers. You know what comes if he uh, if he sees a target. <laughs> Mervyn's just calling out, "Fuck! Fuck! He's dead! Shit!" Uh, at that moment, I'm just gonna go and essentially um take a rush towards the. Uh priests who are supposed to revivify. Merwin is, uh, meanwhile, already pulling out one of his precious diamonds. <laughs> kissing it goodbye! <laughs> so, Bacon is gonna have a um, fun two days because they have enough uh, diamonds to cast a few restorations that can remove negative levels, but uh, that's still gonna be an unpleasant experience for him. But, uh, yeah, Merwin is gonna use his uh, revive spell to uh, bring him back up. And you just see... Doesn't he lose a level? Uh, Pathfinder, you get negative levels. Which you can remove with a ah. thousand uh, gold pieces worth of diamonds using Restore one at a time. Bruh. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, but no negative levels, so... Like, no actual level loss, so that's... Less shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, well, you'll be happy to know that this beast is worth 4,800 XP total, split eight ways. So 600 each. That was not worth it. <laughs> well, you're not paying for the diamonds, so it kind of was. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, let's take a look at the core book, because I need to... Re I don't have memorized what a CR8 encounter costs in terms of normal treasure, but... Uh, Either way, the hide of something like this is going to be pretty fucking valuable. Would anyone like to roll survival to see if they can get it off reasonably intact? Isn't our survival guide kind of, um, dead? Well, Jekylor is not bad. He's just out of, out of it. Yeah, Jekylor, you can take uh, one more heal. Uh, there you go, six. <laughs> so Bacon's at one and you're at like two. Well, I'm alive now. now. Now that you're at 2 HP, get to working. Get um, to working. Yeah, uh, can see who do the... What? Skin a cat? So Such yet. sacrilege! <laughs> you see her just... Fur is standing out like a cat that's just supercharged with static electricity and she's just crackling with power still. Yeah, it's a task. So, uh, I'll roll the... She will actually help you, she's just fucking with you. Oh, fair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she has better survival than me. I only have five. Uh, I need to treasure per counter. Okay. What does it say on... The cat. This is probably either none or incidental because the game is bullshit about fighting animals. 
Yep. It would try to fuck you like that. But that's okay. I got you, kids. You're gonna get something out of this. Inside its stomach, we find what? I mean, each of the fangs is gonna be worth, like, let's say, like, 100 gold pieces if you can pry them out uh, intact. And a hide is gonna be worth, like, a thousand. Hey, just enough for Bacon to not have level 2 again. Uh, it's weird because he just takes penalties and like max hit point penalties from negative level, but he doesn't lose his class abilities that he's gotten from leveling up. Oh, let's check what is. So he's back to like what? 15 HP? 14? I don't remember, but he's gonna get it fixed. Like, yeah, uh, like the kind of expedition practice. anticipated shit like that happening sooner or later. So it's, you know, and the other parties by now would have each run into random shit as well and fought of some random titan spawn. So this wouldn't even be the first time the trailing party has been attacked. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, the survival role. Uh, see who, what's see who's bonus? Uh, plus 11. She rolls the survival roll. help. Okay, go ahead and help. Actually, Jackalo it would help. be um, more than that, because, again, <laughs> I see how it is. So it's a minus two? Yeah, yeah. but Jacqueline did not help. He did the very opposite of helping. Okay. So. But it's supposed to be minus. Uh, it's supposed to be plus nine, not plus ten, because it's minus two. Um. I did, I removed it. I hadn't added skill points uh, for this level to them, remember? And um, Oh, so she had... Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. But, um... So... The hide is slightly damaged. And, um... Well... Merwin is going to want one of the fangs because he used one of his personal diamonds for this. So we're going to say that it's 900 gold that you can discuss with the other party how to split. So you want to like split it equally with them or...? Let's just do that. Oh, certainly. Okay, okay, I'll just put in 450 gold. I mean, when you get back to civilization and gold matters again, you'll probably sell it instantly. Yeah, yeah you can do that. Just um, keep in mind that currently, for the purposes of Donkey, that's like at least... Oh, this is a bigger than a normal tiger. So, I'm trying to do uh, head mats. That's, that's a lot of hide. That's like... There's like a hundred and fifty pounds of hide that's just folded up. <laughs> okay. Other than that, well, that night, Arazia is gonna... Well, next morning rather, she's gonna start fixing bacon. <laughs> Because um, he has been le fucked. Let me just um, check negative levels. What do they do? For each negative level a creature has, it takes a cumulative. Minus one penalty on all ability checks, attack rolls, combat maneuver checks, combat maneuver defense, saving throws, and skill checks. In addition, the creature reduces its current and total hit points by five for each negative level it possesses. And uh, I think restored raised dead gives it like like the uh, target two of those. Okay, yeah, the subject of the spell gains two permanent negative levels, and those can be removed by a restoration spell, one at a time. 
So um, that's a lot of diamonds. But hey, you claim the formidable kill. Yeah, all eight of us. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, Arazia is going to do the mom routine and tell everyone to be super careful and not get overconfident because obviously there are horrible creatures around here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, evening of the next day, you are going to arrive at the edges of the city. Let me give you an idea of the layout. So, the city itself is largely buried under the swamp. You see the tops of walls, second levels and third levels of buildings poking out. And further in, you see several large buildings. One of them, Razia points out, as the temple to Madriel in the center of the city. Then there is the palace and administrative buildings of the local lord. And roughly in between those two locations is the most important parts of the city, like the rich section. And then there's outskirts, etc. There are smaller temples near the port here and here. And here is like the one of the main marketplaces. That's about as much as uh, you would be able to make out just from the what you can see from like standing on a hill that slightly overlooks the place. It does look like the ground here might have been broken. There are sections where the buildings are further out of the muck and areas where they're lower down. So clearly some sort of cataclysm during the Titans War or before has befallen this place and the geography has been slightly rearranged. Now, the plan would be to set up somewhere on the outskirts in a nice overseeable location, use that as a base of operations. And then just start searching the place and, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Orazia will tell you that if this goes as this has started, the more diamonds you can find, the better, because the longer you can then stay here. And she's going to tell you that between all parties, she has enough diamonds to fix like four more people that actually die completely. And after that, she'll be able to raise them, but they're going to suffer lingering effects until those can be fixed. AK, don't die. <laughs> well, dying would still be bad, yes. You do have a safety net. It just... I mean, she came out here with 10k of diamonds. That's a lot, but... If you keep dying, that... Uh, you end up going through that pretty quickly. Why, well, yes. So, guys, where do you guys want to loot for... Where are we dropping, boys? Like, Arazia's suggestion would be, probably, to either claim this gatehouse or set up in the marketplace. Marketplace would be more open and you'd be able to see anything coming. Gatehouse would offer some crumbling uh, fortifications where you could have less avenues coming in at you. I think the gatehouse is better because we could also have a good vantage point from the gatehouse. Uh, how much of the gatehouse is still intact? Like uh, the tops of the towers have been sheared off, but it looks like the first two floors are still there. Definitely the gatehouse. How much of the adjoining wall is still intact? The wall is largely intact. It's uh, it's cracked in places and crumbled, but you can see the perimeter of the city pretty clearly, most of yeah, the way but can around. You walk, uh, can you walk along the wall from the gatehouse? You can, a ways, but like I said, there are places where the wall has crumbled, so there are places where mm -hmm. it has collapsed into a pile of rubble, and you would need ways to make it across there, so it would be a bit difficult to walk, like you don't have an easy way to walk all the way around the city, it's not that intact. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, most of you don't because that makes it a lot more defensible of the location because they you can't just walk into the place from above. There are like um you can yeah you can secure the um gatehouse but those crumbled sections of wall it's have you ever seen medieval ruins jackalore Some, yeah i know i yeah i live in europe <laughs> yeah so like when you have one of those places where a wall has been reduced to a pile of rubble it's not like it's unclimbable you just have to be careful yeah of course not but it's it's much easier to have a guard uh, nearby than uh, you know have to consider every single of a five kilometer wall mm -hmm. yeah so uh, so yeah, I think the gatehouse is the best location, defensively. Uh, like, we could set up in the marketplace, but the issue is, we'd be open to attack so badly. Mm-hmm. Gatehouse is better. Uh, how long did you travel here again? Was it like a week or two weeks? It was a week. Uh, how much food do we have left? Uh, get enough, I just need to subtract it, that's why I asked. Uh, mm -hmm. We are four people, that's... Uh, yeah, how much food do we have left? Uh, like a month, at shut least. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, uh, I thought you meant you already knew. No, no, I'm just I'm calculating. If we're every one of uh, each one at eight, seven rations, we are four people. That's how much rations we have left. I like to eat more rations. Is that a problem? Uh, no. They are disgusting, Demi. It's like grains and salty uh, dried meat that's been pressed together. Uh -huh. It's a protein bar. It's granola bar. Demi, it's granola bars. I know, I know. Yeah, it's a mix between a granola bar and beef jerky. Yeah, I In a greasy a sort of uh, mix. And way less sugar. Mm hmm. <laughs> so it's literally just salty and yuck. Now I'm imagining sugar being a luxury drug and just how Sasura is selling it and people snorting it. No, oh, my fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just getting the back of your nose coated in sugar and just going, ugh, ugh, oh, that tastes sweet? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay, so do you want to move in at the evening or do you want to wait till morning? Before claiming the gatehouse. I think we need morning because the inside of the gatehouse, even if it's ruins and things, there might be some very dark spots. We need at least any kind of light. I mean, you have clerics. You're yeah. going to have light cantrips. Fuck you, let's do it. Rats sleep, right? Okay. So you're going to move in. Now, Varage is going to tell you that um, they went in for a bit, right? So they went in like through this gate and they just traced down to the marketplace along the perimeter and went out and they, they didn't see anything too horrible. But um, who the fuck knows? It might have just been sleeping if there's something, right? So, okay. Yeah, you're able to uh, get into the gatehouse. It's... Um, it's not an exceptionally uh, complicated structure. It's effectively like two f open floors with some old rusted machinery and a uh, stairway leading upwards that was because nice narrow has all the right angles for people to stab effectively, you know, downwards if need be, as you do. And uh, yeah, you have two floors space enough to set up for everyone and uh, same on the other side now uh, you're probably gonna need to claim both because you do have pack horses and donkey with you so um probably like one of the gatehouses that the first floor is gonna go to the animals and then the rest can be spread out between people lily if you want i can probably uh after doing some looting around the marketplace, we could probably find a, a nice concealed space for you and Lethair. Lethair just I, looks at you. Are you fucking crazy? We die. This place is fucking dangerous. 
I think he missed the point, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Just gives you a look. You've already forgotten who saved your behind, pussycat. Oh, I didn't, for I didn't forget. And by the way, I wasn't even insulting. This was actually supposed to be a compliment, but if you're gonna take it that way. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. At a game, I'm not the one getting sucked off under my table while doing magical equations. He's monogamous right now. You went out looking for a rat brothel. Amen. <laughs> you piece of shit. Okay. You're able to set up. The city is waiting for your uh, perusal. Oh, I think the first place that we should at least clear and check is the marketplace, because that's where near our headquarters. Well, yeah, like all of you moving as a group are first going to just like essentially scout up to here just to clear a path. And then Arazia is going to, with the more experienced group, keep heading in this direction. Rats are going to stay here, and you and the other party, along with one of the clerics and Varaj, and like maybe one of the rat fighters, is going to, are going to, you know, head off wherever. Uh, it's more expecting as well, if we do loot that area, that there might have been some uh, merchant shops or whatever the fuck that might actually have something valuable in them. Okay. Because if that is the main marketplace, um... You know, that is like trade. the open air marketplace that you can tell based on the geography. It's not necessarily the place where all the uh, high end shops would be. Fair. Yeah, this is like the where you sell food. Uh, yeah, as, as, essentially. Yeah, it's also why it's near a gate. It's probably where the farms were uh, bringing in the shit. Clothes, you said? Okay, Demi wants to uh, search the marketplace. You know, in a swamp, the clothes probably don't stay intact for a long time, that me. See who is gonna speak up. There's probably gold there. They were trading in something, right? It's bound to be a bunch of coins. Yeah, likely. Thank you, Zero. Fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, we might want to just scout about out a bit to see if there's any, like, not like to search, but like, Look around a bit, see if there's any buildings that catch our eye, and then mark them down on a map, and then head back here and look and see after that. If we just if we go or every single place before, or instead of wasting place. a bunch of valuable time, I could just uh, take the form of some big flap eating and take a look from above. That's a good idea. Great idea. I forgot you're a druid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think animal form one lets you take like a small or medium creature form and it can be a bird, right? Yeah, I go just yeah, I think so. Sounds, sounds about right. It'd be dumb if the true couldn't turn into a fucking bird. <laughs> I mean she's not that uh that experienced a druid. Still though, it's it's a bird, like ka ka, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh yeah. Any small or medium animal and back once per day. Her options for new forms include all creatures with the animal type. Okay, she's gonna tell you. Can't wait to turn into that thing we killed. That would be amazing. I know, right? And also horrifying, but amazing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, so she is gonna meditate for a moment and then just sort of shrink inwards and turn into like an eagle. Just eagle eyes, guys. <laughs> gonna take off 
and check if there just looks at that and we see it's like fuck I didn't prepare flight today <laughs> actually reasonable transportation as position school or one of them right now. oh oh lover boy can't fly <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't bust that right, there. that would have been uh, difficult for him. So yeah, I just realized I fucked something up previously, but that was uh, flavor anyway. So never mind. <laughs> okay, so see who is gonna take a look around. Just see her like circling, like for like a couple of minutes before she comes back down. So, um, how do I tell which of the uh, roofs are valuable buildings and which aren't? From my experience, it tends to be by the color. They're statues. all brown and rotted. Uh, statues on the gargoyles, etc., that are attached to the building. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them over here. Way, way yonder in that distance, she points towards the good part of town. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, any notable buildings nearby for the statues and etc. Like, I mean, not exceptionally. Like some of them are made out of brick. <laughs> any specifically large buildings? And she's gonna start pointing. So there's one there, and... It's Madriel's temple. <laughs> no, she's pointing at ones in yeah. the media at that distance. She just, like... She doesn't necessarily know what to look for, because uh, she's not an archaeologist. Yeah, but, like, I have an idea. I've played more time. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, you know, you're a dwarf and you like rocks. So... I want two of you to make, well, let's see, actually, let's uh, do it this way. I'll make one more roll for their party, and then each of you can make a roll you think is appropriate for finding any useful locked money chests or uh, other leftover bits in the marketplace. There. I guess I'll roll perception. Sure. Um. So oh, uh, unless uh, do I have athletics? I will put this in a uh, separate handout, by the way, because keep in mind uh, that uh, this is getting. Uh, Split not just between you and uh, like this is getting split way way lots right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, expedition uh, loot, I'm gonna make that available to you in your player folder. Jackalore, that's uh, good. Uh, I wanted to ask: Is this purely finding, or can I actually roll something like disable device? This is you finding all the little nooks, crannies, breaking into them, stealing shit, etc. You're you're scouring the marketplace for anything valuable. Uh, ooh, uh, craft weapons for bacon. That works actually. To identify weapons of uh, or anything of quality, make sure. That's a really shit roll, but okay. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go for a praise. Okay. Now this looks like a useless piece of garbage, but when you brush it off, it's a gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> so it would seem. Nice. Okay, and who That's does right. that leave? That leaves Lily. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just wondering what I should draw. Uh... Arcana? Sure. I'm pretty good at that. I got two. These fucking twos and three is wrong. Now, I have a feeling, but I feel like the, experience, the more experienced... I got two also all the... Yeah, I feel like they're gonna roll better. <laughs> I mean, I'm going with sequels I mean, and with their roll. Oh, oh Arch that's Arch absolutely missing, garbage. Just missing Lashkim and Merwin. No, I'm just gonna roll for two of them to keep this uh, going quickly. Okay. Okay, so a ten and a ten, and so your average is something like fourteen. I can calculate that. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of like this. This is good. Uh, most of the marketplace is a dud. Um, well, there does immediately identify like a um, like a um, hidden compartment, and just while well, you're still figuring out what to do, you already see Lashkim just with a crowbar, just. <laughs> Forcing it open. But eventually, through careful uh, studying and figuring out what place was used for what, you do find the remnants of a caravan that was preparing to leave the city. Along with some leftover shit that is valuable. Now, this all goes in the expedition pile. But, there are some supplies that are extremely useful that they were preparing to take with them. Oh god, that wand of a large purse and <laughs> Some high quality weapons that are still intact, or were preserved by some happenstance. And a total of 31 platinum pieces, 267 gold pieces and 40 silver pieces as well as a tiny bit of syllables. Now the syllables you can immediately convert to money unless Demi wants to. Let me Google what Rotocrosite actually is. Oh, he, he does and we already decided Wait, he wasn't get uh, any more blink for a while. Wait, how does the composite longbow work? Is that a, this dex to hit but it's the strength for damage? You get, can you, you can add well, they work weirdly, right? If you have less strength than you need to draw it, you take penalties. But mm -hmm. it does allow you to add your strength bonus to damage if you do have the required strength. So you would get plus one to so damage with this. Longbow. Yeah. But it would be dex to hit. Yeah, but it would be dex to hit. I think. I can't yes, dex to hit, but to get bonus strength damage. So, with the way that this works out, like, um, effectively, Erasia said that you would get half of what you find, but this is being done by two parties, so effectively you can claim a quarter of this as your own. Uh, what's the total cost, then, <laughs> approximately? Uh, like, three and a half thousand gold pieces. I'm gonna be real. I feel like the one of a large person is pretty fucking good. Yes, it is. I also want it. The other group doesn't really give that much of a fuck. We have beefy frontliners. Yep. My damage would go from 2d6 to 3d6. Jesus. And it would be an arcane spell, I think, so... It should be easily enough to uh, cast. Yep. So, um, uh, how easy, yeah. let's let's do it this way. Put what's in the expedition pile in there, right? And like the money stuff, you can just convert. And then at the top, right? Yeah, put an expedition. And at the top, let's do it like this, right? Uh. Uh, 
this divided by four. So your share so far is 875. And if you're claiming the uh, wand of enlarged person, you have used 750 of it. Yeah, I do think that the wand of enlarged person is going to help both Jack and Bacon a fuck ton. Jackalore might want the... Um... Master composer Longbow? Yeah. Help the Jack. Kind of is. I mean, it would be nice, but like, because... But we don't have any arrows with us this issue. Yeah, we would need we to would get have arrows. Some. And do you need uh, ranged damage? Jack Lord, you would be able to get some arrows. They Yeah, I have they're... no way to deal the ranged damage at all right now. Yeah, but I'm asking, do you think you need to have a ranged damage? I mean it's never bad to have an option. It's um it's just if we want to have something, it would be nice. <laughs> you literally saw Chekhov's dragon flying over the swamps earlier. <laughs> Jekyll okay, muted I, himself, I, turned off the camera, and was just nodding yes enthusiastically. Yes. I mean, but uh, that's why we have uh, someone that can cast spells and a guy that can do sneak attacks with his ranged weapon. Mm. I don't think it's that needed. The in, in large person, it would be fucking great. Yes, it would reduce the... Or AC, but we already saw that AC doesn't matter with the tiger anymore. The tiger is so, like a couple of levels ahead of where you're going to be. Yeah, that but we like... are getting the part that AC yeah, isn't mattering. Are. So, for me, it's easily one to six extra damage for Jackalor. How how much is his weapon damage? One d eight or one d ten? I think he's using a long sword, so I think it's a one d. It's a one d eight, yeah. It yeah. would go from 1d8 to 2d6. So essentially like wielding a great sword. Yes. Uh, and you get a... Uh, you do, I saw it, it gets a minus... You get less dexterity AC and uh, minus one to hit even. Uh, but yeah, because you strength. get one si extra size. But yeah. you get... You get... Uh, I have here. You get yeah. two strength and two... Yeah, two strength, yeah, so mana, dexterity. Plus one damage static as well. I don't know, I, I feel like the Wand of Enlarged Person is great. We already, I mean, we could always get another Wand of Cure Light Wounds, because I think the original one that we got is getting slightly low at this point. You still have, like, half of it, I think. Uh, one question. Uh, do the minus one AC is counting the one you would get from minus Xerity, or it would be minus UAC in total? Uh, let me just read Enlarged Person. I just use the treasure generator. I don't check up on what I'm giving you. <laughs> yeah, but this was a good thing to give because my plan is to use enlarged person eventually. It would be my go-to spell when I rage. Yeah, that's fair. And it's a minute per level. So this would obviously be just the regular level. So a minute, so 10 rounds. It can be made permanent with the permanency spell, Bacon. If you want to be a degenerate. <laughs> But if I made it permanent, can I cast a large person to grow another size? Uh, no. It would oh. be just the effect would be permanent on you. It wouldn't stack. And so now I prefer to. Sometimes I need extra AC. Oh, it also increases your reach. That's actually based. Yes, that's the best part. It increases the reach. So it uh, works well with my extra attacks of opportunity. So Sadly, with enlarged person active, I wouldn't have now, but level four, I would have two attacks of opportunity. So yeah, the penalty to dex would also apply to dex based AC. And then the extra penalty on attack rolls and AC due to increase size would stack on top of that. Okay, just to make sure. And it's harder to miss you when you're a big-ass target, and keep in mind... Well... You'll be fine, even if you're in a tight uh, space, you'll be able to tell that you shouldn't fucking enlarge yourself at that moment. Yes.
Uh, I, by the way, I did check the uh, Shield of Fate. It's essentially a plus two uh, deflection bonus to AC, which, I mean, still useful here, you know, early game, but eh. Oh, by the way, did uh, I was already revived, right? Yes. Yes, and they would have used like uh, restores to fix your negative levels. Okay, so I placed myself at like zero HP, or I'm up again. It has been like uh, two nights, and they need that in order to fix you completely, so you can heal that much. But other than that, you do need healing. Actually, okay, so never, HP. never mind. There's they would have just sunk some cure light wounds into you on the way, so just don't worry about it. It has okay. fifty charges, right? The wand. Yeah. Now, the important thing is, do I remember the, when I was dead? Uh, you do. You remember uh, being uh, pulled in uh, different directions and a uh, battlefield calling to you, but something holding you back. Okay, so that means that if I actually die forever, I'm going to be stuck at the Vengal plane of death and destruction. Yeah, Corin has Based. high standards. Yeah, fucking based. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm basically a Viking now. Sure. <laughs> Going to Vangel's side, not Valhalla. <laughs> it's almost the same thing. Almost. <laughs> I need to read up on what he does to the souls of the departed. It's bound to be spicy. I did read what oh, Belsamet yeah, I... does, but... Uh... It's probably going to be very fucking cursed. <laughs> Vengo is not a good guy, but I will continue to worship him until something very bad happens to me. What? This doesn't count! <laughs> I mean, it, I died and uh, I went to basically Valhalla for now. It doesn't look oh, that bad. Oh, you didn't actually reach that. You were, You saw it like up ahead, but like I said, you are being pulled in many different directions, you never actually arrived anywhere. Okay, good to know. Okay. Um, but I do have a question, by the way, uh, Chris. Uh, I'm not sure if I can roll this or if I'll just give me, but uh, while looking around the marketplace and area, did it look like there were any places that were, uh, you know, secretive, that seemed to be, you know, in a, in a good position that's not... Um, Exposed, so to say, but somewhat, you know, sec secretive. Uh, uh, that, which uh, regions uh, of the city already were explored? Yeah, I'm asking for a friend. So, roughly, they have searched these surrounding buildings in the marketplace, and you are yay here as a home base in the gatehouse. All right. Yeah, I'm asking for a friend to... Uh... You can find an appropriate location, but it's gonna be like a five-minute walk from the gatehouse, so not exactly safe. That's the best thing possible. Lothair's not gonna go for it. He's too much of a pussy. <laughs> what if... The... <laughs> not gonna finish that sentence. What level is he again? Five. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I guess see, if a fly lasts five minutes, that's basically enough. Uh, yeah, especially the it, in the nighttime, nobody's gonna look up. For yeah, but he can't time. actually cast it on uh, both of you. That's the thing. I forgot about the post spell ah, things. Right, right. That's the uh, scuff part. <sighs> Useless. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, roll. so we all <laughs> went 25 feet into the city. Should be easy to get the main place. <laughs> yeah, easy. Can I can I offer you a safe 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 location and a wingman um, position, <laughs> Lily, for the road? Oh, please. Okay, so the, the important question is. What killed me was the tiger, or did we fight another fucking hard oh, thing? That tiger. Yeah, that was it the was tiger. the tiger. It just tiger, fucking tiger. mauled you. It crit you. Do yeah, and you just died. Actually, in theory, you could have, with the house rule we're running, saved him, but nobody could make it to him in time. 
Oh, okay, I mean, I don't think he needed a crit to kill me one in just one turn. No, he was also killing Jackalora at the same <laughs> time! <laughs> Credit for like 40 something damage. Okay, so since I'm not getting the Roto Crusader, we're we just gonna. Can we, by the way, save this 125 for if we find anything later? Yeah. It's like. Like, technically, if you're dividing shit up, Arazia is the uh, loot council, effectively. So when she mm. comes back, she goes through it. Okay, you want to keep this? Nobody objects? Okay, sure, I have no problem, it's yours. Uh, wait, is she like old school uh, World of Warcraft loot council that she takes first pick in anything and we can't con uh, go against her because she's the guild leader? She doesn't really give a fuck, as, uh, except for diamonds because those are needed for the mission and, uh, mm. you know. Oh, so she's actually a good guild leader. You know, you know what, I actually, thank you, thank you, Lily. I, I, was, I was too hasty, I will, um... Wait in case there's better jewels later. <laughs> there's a palace. How? Come on. Got to be something good in there. I mean, that is something you could do. You could start working your way like along here and towards the good part of the city. You know, Damien, that's gonna be like a diamond carved into a cat face, but Erasia is gonna take it away from you. <laughs> Thanks for that. I wasn't going to do that until now. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to betray the party. <laughs> Just pockets it. And she would have warned you in your contract that um, you're going to be checked by Zone of Truth once you get back to the city. Or, well, civilization, rather. If he returns to civilization, he just need to, needs to escape. <laughs> just takes off running into the swamp. Later, bitches! <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. The cat opens his stolen scroll of teleportation while holding all his stolen diamonds. <laughs> he goes directly to Chelsar. Uh, I don't think you can make it without greater teleports too far away. Oh, sad. sad. I mean, oh, if he just needs several thousand uh, scrolls of teleportation then. He needs, like, three, I think, to cover the uh, distance. Oh, did you know it was that long range? Anyway. It's like five or six hundred miles. As uh, all of us are avid strategists and RPG players, we all... We're all aware, right, that the Temple of Madril is the boss spot, right? So let's just go to the... Let's just do a side quest to the palace. <laughs> No, we need to kill the boss first, because that's how it is. No, no, the you boss, do. The no, boss will have no. to loot. Demi. Demi, look at it this way. If we clear the boss, the dungeon isn't going to disappear. But we'll have a safer time clearing the rest of the place. Oh yeah, no, Razia was like, stay the fuck away. <laughs> like, um, effectively, she's gonna go with the experience party and make sure that none of you random cucks steal the actual artifacts there if she finds any. Oh, cool. To the palace! Yeah, we can go to the palace. We can go, like... Yeah, just go north. Good part of the I mean... The good part of the presumably this up here, because it's near the palace. Yeah, it's just 200 part. miles. What do you mean, 200 miles? Well, I changed the map settings, because Bacon objected. Wait... This city can't be that big! <laughs> Time works I mean, itself strangely here. <laughs> so the palace is in the middle. Or this is the temple. I think the palace is it is right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's palace. And this, I... what's this? Uh, okay, there. What are you pointing out, Jacklor? The temple. That is the temple. So yeah, I... we should. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Like, uh, the yeah, path we should up the to here is gonna be explored, and if you want to go for the other temples and, like, uh, any tomb robbing, then this district is, uh, your best bet for that. Wait, 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 wait. No, Demi. Demi. Go, go for it. Can. I hear corpses have uh, drugs in them a lot of the time. Please. 
But no, I actually had an ingenious idea, guys. Mm -hmm. Rather than going instantly to the palace, let's go to the rich neighborhood for one reason only. There's going to be stuff there, and I'm mostly thinking in terms of magical. Because you remember that one fuck boy that just had a really good ring? We might find yep. something like that. Yeah, I agree with that. We should really search the rich people's place first. Then we... Are we going to search this part of the rich people's place first, or this part of the rich people's I place? I think the rich people place, or like the nobility, is like here between the temple and the palace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. essentially. Yeah. That's the... And uh... probably this part should be better, but this is the rich part. Look at, look at this plaza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Based on... So like, we searched this place. This place is sort of in a hollow between hills, so you had a nice view coming over it, and you could tell that, like, the buildings did seem bigger and grander over in this Wait, direction. wait. Look at this. This is the Asura's uh, Iceland <laughs> uh, fortress. We should go here. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there after this area. Do you want to uh, just beeline for there? You can. No, let's beeline take it this. slowly. Let's beeline for this, actually, because we, we know this will be cleared. This here. No, so we beeline for mapped. This like, Arazi is not going to go into every single building along the way. No, didn't expect it. These either. buildings are pretty notable, so I think all of these we should search first. Okay. It's, it's on the way to the, to the northern rich part. And uh, feel free yeah, to draw on the map the areas that you have searched and checked. And to what extent. Yeah, I don't know which areas you guys went, so I won't uh, draw the, anything. The Chris has written out so far. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind that actually going over the area with fine tooth comb over there, relatively risk free, but it did take a while. So you have maybe two hours of activity in the day before your risk being exhausted tomorrow. It took like six uh, hours to search through this uh, place. But we can't go it's with the safe walk. option. That's true. Bacon is uh, making a very good point. Who would go with the safe option? We don't get XP with safe options. <laughs> and we need XP. Okay, okay. What is the safe option? Go start from that part. No, the safe option is slowly check out the already explored and safe places and slowly move forward. Uh, you... The shed option is to rush this region and then go here. I like that option. Yeah, I think we should just cross the bridge and start searching these buildings. Wait a second. Uh, the other party is uh, on board with uh, searching the rich section. We can't just cross the bridge, guys. There's a troll there. Fuck you, Debbie. We don't have acid, we can't kill the troll, especially as Miaxi is actually a, uh, a failure of a, a mage and can't actually use acid spells. Wow. Aggressive. With that uh, just blinks twice. What? You, you, all your spells are electricity, not acid. No, I have acid splash. It's a good point. It doesn't count. Mervyn's just gonna jump in the middle. Guys! Guys, this is not why we're here! <laughs> Sorry, Mervyn, but I feel like... You know, we've been adventuring for a while. Charles, are you okay? Is everything okay at home? Oh, I, I know. Uh, I saw him talking to the dwarves. That were talking about yeah. his heritage. And he got a bit sad because he didn't have a proper dwarf upbringing. So oh, it's that... haunting him. Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. This is so Charles! Sad. You know you can talk to me if you need to, right? I'm sorry I tried to seduce you earlier. <laughs> but uh, we, we are on this together. We, we can <laughs> face... We're here for you. And say... Thank you, Mervyn. It means a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> And to liven up the situation, I look at Demi. Demi, want to draw a troll face under the bridge? Was that a question? Yes. <laughs> I didn't hear a question. Let's fucking go. See who just <laughs> looks up at the sun that's slowly heading towards the hill, just shakes her head. <laughs> it's two minutes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can do it tomorrow. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. So you wish to and search. Only the... level one asset spell as corrosive touch, and it would be a touch attack. Fuck that. Yeah, just go touch the troll. <laughs> I mean, once you hit next level, just pick uh, the acid uh, arrow. Is it level two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, melt arrow. It's uh, sorry, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up Teal's twine, guys. Understandable. Nah, nah, that that is a far better s s skill spell. What the fuck? Okay, so you approach the bridge, which is um. Uh, Mostly collapsed, you see three pillars of uh, stone that were the supports and the dried riverbed with a little bit of ice at the bottom. See uh, faint tracks in the frost where the more experienced party crossed earlier. How, how far apart are you, is each pillar? <laughs> If you wanted to jump, you could maybe make it if you grabbed hold of the side and pulled yourself up. I mean, falling isn't too big of a problem for me. This is, I, I got cats fall, guys. It's cool. No, don't be stupid. Let's just follow the exact same uh, traces that experienced party did. Because if you step on the wrong place, you might fall through the river onto the <laughs> ice. The river, and... It's like a puddle at this point. Oh, okay, right. yeah, if Tomorrow. it's not deep enough. Tomorrow. But I should think we should follow the tracks of the other guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. Tomorrow when we come here to draw, then I'll try my luck. So, yeah, well, we head into the... I'll note our path. So, we head here, the gatehouse here. Mm-hmm. Uh, before uh, that, we have to write a uh, write it through our face. So this what this has... this is the first house we're going into because it looks like a fucking manor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now I'd usually go knock knock and just get the door down, but I feel like there might be like permanent ring a dings alarms. Mm hmm. So ring a dings. <laughs> I couldn't remember the word. I'm uh, gonna need a 1d2 from someone. I'll roll, I guess. Which one is the good one? This is a flip coin flip. None of them are good, Demi. That's the secret. <laughs> okay. So, the manor is largely collapsed you see a perimeter wall which um, sort of fits neatly next to the buildings. It's like a uh, tiny fortress within the city. I'm gonna give you a look at the layout and uh, because presumably you are tracing the perimeter. Mm -hmm. So this is roughly what it looks like and you can enter from whichever direction you would please. I mean, front entrance. Okay, straight in through the front. I mean, if we try to go around the back, then somebody's gonna might, might have to fucking climb something, and uh, okay. some some of us haven't had the best of luck with that. Fuck you, Demi. So, um, Virage along with. Uh, the Ratfolk Adventurer and the Cleric are going to post up outside, and the other party is going to pick another building and uh, go exploring. So, the doors have long since been shattered, and the roof, such as it is, has large holes, so the uh, fading sunlight casts uh, plenty of shadows as uh, you explore the area. Inside, you see several figures. Here, and here, Charles, Wait. going first, may make a perception check. Like stone figures, like or like armored. Oh God! It's some living armors yeah. for us to fight. Oh, that's a really good roll, actually. Oh, it is. So, 
These are rat folk, in full armor, made of stone in exquisite detail, in an attitude of some of them moving forward, some of them heading in this direction, almost as if running in a panic, all of them frozen. Oh, guys, we found the oh. fucking Gorgon. Oh, no. Does anyone have protection from petrification? So, uh, you start talking loudly. <laughs> we just we just need to use our shield so we can see her. Or, hear me out, you already have to be rock hard. <laughs> Roll perception. <laughs> uh, do I, does my st roll stand? Ah, uh, yes. I will allow this. Yeah, I'm too distracted thinking on the solution on how I'm to I'm not gonna to tell you the program. bonus for this, so I'm Plus just gonna roll a flat... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Charles and one. Demi, you hear something crunching and just a low, the faintest of hisses coming from yonder direction. Guys, I hear crunching. Like somebody eating a Snickers bar. More like on stone chips, something stepping. Well, um, yeah, somebody close enough. <laughs> what would yeah, you like to do? Each of you, what are you doing once uh, given the information that has come out here and uh, what's been uh, noticed? Charles, what are you doing? Uh, look down on the ground looking for feet and then uh, hide my tower shield high in front of my, um, uh, you know. Okay, so you cover your eyes. Excellent. Uh, Lily. Um, uh, I... <laughs> I look towards the floor. Uh... Keeping an eye on, on Bacon's feet or something, so I know he's still in front of me. Okay, Demi. <laughs> I'm gonna do something stupid, but if this is like a Gorgon Medusa, as we said, um... All it has no. to do is look at you, right? So... I'm gonna attempt to use either the uh, piles or rubble or whatever to, uh... Try and sneak somewhere that wouldn't be directly looking at the party, essentially. I want to kind of go from the either side or back. Okay, so you can try and hide here behind some rat folk to essentially look completely away and... Uh, Bacon, uh, Chris, you're in the GM there. Ah, uh, that's because I was moving something on the map. <laughs> <laughs> you could go yeah. here or like maybe here. Uh, either, either or, wherever I can see sort of a, a pathway that I can slowly, hopefully, stealthily... Um, pass towards the back area. Okay. So you're doing that. You can move yourself like here. Bacon. I just grab the knife I carry around. I just cut a piece of my clothes and I made an improvised uh, blindfold and I put in my eyes. Okay. Perfect. I just whisper, hey guys, I'm Ilida now. I hate you. Oh my fucking god. Uh, by the way, just to note Chris, because I'm not the only one, because I still need to sneak, I'm not going to be looking in that direction where I heard, so I'm going to be looking opposite, at least. Okay, so you're just listening to... Yeah, and then just trying to move my way, looking at the ground. So, Charles, you hear crunching and hissing approaching you, and you are trying to avert your gaze, the way you yes. described it, as is Lily, as is Demi. And Bacon has a blindfold. Blake, Bacon has a blindfold. Bacon will need to fight blind, but Bacon is safe. So that is an enemy, believe it or not, if you would roll initiative. And let's see. Uh, it doesn't say here, so I'm going to look the exact rules for avoiding gaze attacks on SRD because, like, if you do a, um, um, 
if you do it back and it, you're completely safe, you're fine. Right? Unless it chooses to take an action to uh, fuck with you. Whereas if you do, I think you have like a 50% action, not a chance to not have to roll the save. So, uh, first off, let's roll initiatives. Mm -hmm. We did. We did. Oops, and I happily deleted them. <laughs> because like, oh, that's old shit. Oops. <laughs> it's gonna fine. Add you we back in that. and feel free to reset this. I'm th not sure when this happens. It should be on its turn, right? You think so? Oh, right. That's how I should do it. I should look up gaze in the um, compendium here. And that just uh, brings it out. So feel free uh, to look up the gaze rolls, if you wish, in the compendium, once it loads. Then me add your initiative. Oh. Okay. Each opponent within range of gaze attack must attempt a saving throw. Uh, saving throw each round at the beginning of his or her turn. Okay. So, uh, Lily, you are averting your eyes. First off, roll a 1d100. 50 or below, you're safe. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, I'm somewhat looking at it for no reason at all. I mean, you stumble over something and you end up looking up for a second, instinctively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of a... Yeah, I stumble over something while I'm looking at my field. You stumble over Bacon, yeah. you walk into him. What is it? Is it like a little safe if these yeah, things are here? Yeah, it's a. Uh, safe being bad because Aaron was like, uh, sorcerers don't need wisdom, Lily. It's a fortitude save, actually. Oh, it's even worse. Wait. <laughs> What's the DC? Yeah? Uh, the DC is 15. Okay, I'm not gonna pass it. Oh, I'm actually passing it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, so know. you end up looking up. Uh, I will be generous, you don't take any of the penalties from averting your eyes, because for this turn, you have an, you know, the ability to target without any penalties, etc. That would normally occur. Although, I think, this just gives it partial concealment, so, that uh, wouldn't help against magic missiles and the like anyway. What would you like to do? Blowing its eyes out with a, um, Color spray is a valid uh, tactic. Uh, I don't know if I can get close enough for that. Well, I can. Okay. And would it would it help to blow out its eyes? Well, it wouldn't be able spray. to. It would still um, be bad, right? It would still do the gaze attack. It would still be yeah doing the gaze attack, but it wouldn't be doing its normal attack. And couldn't take the gaze attack action. It would be stunned, presumably. So, uh -huh. yeah, but I'm not probably not gonna pass on the fort. Could say they should go shot my eyes. Uh, I mean, cover though. You can uh, choose to just close them next round if you wish. And is this it safe, or is it like a one d one hundred to decide whether or not I open them involuntarily? Uh, no. If you close them, then you're safe. But her count has blinded okay. and has tip penalties of blinded. I mean, how story does it look now that I'm actually have having to look at it? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a lizard with uh, eldritch glowing eyes and uh, a multitude of legs. That yeah, sounds fucking fun. <laughs> I cast, uh, you know, it's kind of far away from me. I, I, I cast Magic Missile. Okay. I don't want to get closer. Fair enough. And I close my eyes next round. Okay. A pretty good roll. 
Yep, so the missile slam into it, gouging out parts of its skin, scales and blood flying into the air. Charles, you're averting your gaze. Roll 1d100. Roll d100. Make fortitude save. Nope, I have to make the save. Don't you get extra plus two because you're a dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh, I get a plus two because it's a spell. A spell like ability. So save it. Uh, let's double check. I think it should be. It doesn't say here, but yeah, it should be. I mean, it is as per a flesh to stone, I believe. Yes, yes, it is. So yes, so you are good. Spell like ability. You pass. <laughs> dwarf. <laughs> I love being a dwarf. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll move here. I move... I move here and then I attack. Okay. Do I take the penalties for averting my eyes? I'm gonna go with no, no because you happen to look. Okay. How do you reverse do being turned okay. to stone, by the way? Uh, that would be a knowledge arcana kind of check. After you get turned to stone. <laughs> <laughs> Arazia might be powerful to undo it via, via magic. But there is another way. Yeah. Uh, I assume that missed. Uh, yes. I I'm misses? pretty sure that it does, yes. Okay. It does. That's my turn. Uh, Demi. Well, you're uh, your eyes. Yep. Yay. You've successfully uh, averted your eyes. Uh, I was trying to uh, sneak. So is that uh, still a possibility or is it no? Um, well... I'll roll your stealth to see if uh, it has perception where you are. It has perception where you are. Motherfucker. I mean, if you walk here, uh, you can then fight with step next turn. Yeah, I... Uh, not through the corner there. The walls would interfere with him. Though... Act, no, actually, the problem is I am averting my gaze, so I wouldn't actually even know if it's properly looking at me. So you have like yeah, you have like a rough idea of where it is, but you're not looking at it directly. Yeah, thinking that I'm stealth essentially, uh, I am going to essentially just try to take a light uh, crossbow shot at it essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, minus four, unless you have the um, thing to avoid it because they are engaged now. No, no, no. I'm just gonna run with this and then minus. Uh, do you take an extra penalty for being avoiding your eyes? Uh, twenty percent mischance for concealment, I think. Okay. So Not that it matters. Uh, Ralph. Uh, do I need to do a perception roll to know what the creature is? I would say so. Yes, if you're going to charge at it. Okay. So yeah, I try to see where it ends. I'd say that's enough. So, All right, so I just uh, scream for Kalindor and I charge at him uh, while <laughs> raging. <laughs> okay. Rage, Go. charge. And one D2. To see if I hit or not, I would say that two is a hit. Nope, it's a miss. Jackalor, he nearly shaves off your beard. <sighs> hey, I spent a lot of time growing that. And then it's the basilisk's turn. Oh, joyful tidings, everyone! <laughs> um, who shall we bite? Who shall we bite? Who shall we bite? Well, you're both kind of useless. He's gonna bite Jackalor. Misses. Just chomps on the shield. <laughs> Tries to pull it away. 
Uh, Lily, your eyes are now closed. Uh, how's my casting affect that spy, not being able to see it? I think since you know the space it's in, I don't think you can set a magic missile because you have to see like the spot you're pinpointing on it. But you can still try and hit it with an elemental ray. And would be 50-50 yeah, yeah. after hitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might be honestly worth not doing anything, just waiting for us to kill it. Wow. That's, that's a lot of weight for spots. Uh, sure. I mean, I mean, elemental ray doesn't cost spell slots, it costs its own slots. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, I, oh, can, fair enough. I just have it eight times for there. Yeah, I'll just try. Alternatively, you can just walk up to one of these fuckers and try and buff them, but... Um, you miss it by one. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Maybe next style. <laughs> uh, Charles, you are averting your gaze? Yes. Okay. Roll it. You're Ooh, good. I passed. So uh, the penalty is what? You are. It has partial concealment, so eighty or less you hit. I miss anyway. Mm hmm. Uh, Demi. I'm gonna be still avoiding the gaze. Hopefully. <laughs> Because I have a thing I think I want to do. Bestless Sarah. Uh... Okay, um, you do that. Because so, it's a bit difficult. I'm going to attempt to, uh, and you tell me if I can do, basically run up and trying to do the whole acrobatics thing and try and get behind this time. Okay. Oh, uh, let's uh, see. I think it might be more difficult if you're trying to move through their square, but I think you can attempt Probably. this. Probably. I mean, I'm gonna try. This is the first time I'm gonna try and tumble. And besides, getting behind something that looks at you is uh, a valid idea. <laughs> uh, let me actually go on acrobat. Okay. Uh, move. Uh, plus uh, five plus opponent's combat maneuver defense. Okay. Uh. Oof. <laughs> Wait a second. When moving this way, you move at half speed. You can move at full speed by increasing the DC. Oh, Jesus Christ. And if I try to fucking run and go over... What's it, your speed? Uh, my speed is uh, 30. So... Yeah. You can do this, but you either need to increase the DC or you need to um, essentially spend your full move doing this. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna use my full move trying to do this. All right. Why is it so difficult? Um, so just acrobatics. Uh, yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. Do you need to go to this square instead of that square? I'm just trying to go over it. Mm -hmm. oh, these are these are walls, aren't they? Yeah, but you can start. Uh, this square you can, can occupy. What you can do is like literally step through the corner. Yeah. Either or, I mean, I'm getting behind it, but sure, I'll go on that position. I still have to go through it, though. Mm -hmm. You can go through on this round like this, and then five foot step next round. Yeah. So let's see if this works. Holy mother of God, you made it! Wait, what, oh the, my. what was the DC? Twenty-four. Accursed. <laughs> Holy shit! Yippee ki yay, motherfucker! So you just see him go. Twist in the air, make like in the matrix, just you almost see it in slow motion. The teeth go chomp, aiming for his balls, but miss narrowly, and he lands behind it. Uh, Ralph, you saw none of this. You just felt a brush of wind as something huge just went past your face. I mean, clearly it's another basilisk. Do I get an attack of opportunity on it? Hold up. It's passing through your threatened square, so yes. <laughs> Wait a now second. I suppose that Tammy would, would announce that he's doing that to, to, to blind guys. Well, you heard something call out, he got hey, motherfucker, and then it happened, so <laughs> presumably you can deduce <laughs> who was yeah, that uh, dumb. Yeah, I would deduce that. 
Well, I my charge is over, but I will continue to hit the elusive monster in front of me. What is the what I will say now? But I thought you were attacking the basilisk, not Jackalor. <laughs> yeah, uh, this time uh, I'm raging, so it doesn't sound as clear. But he's saying, "None shall survive," and he hits the creature. One d two. Do nice. you believe? Nice. Yep. Okay, that does indeed hit. And the creature is, um, well, just short of half health, but it's uh, that hurt it. And um, well. Let's take a look at gaze. Can it does that? Um... Ah, so you can still try and avoid it that way. So he's just gonna bite you because fuck you. Now where is if my he's bastard? missed the bite, it will be very. I will be very sad. Okay, he hits. Good. You feel something grab hold of your ankle and just pull. And you're kind of reminded of those lizards that bite you and leave you to die. Is that slow, determined sort of chomp. Aha. Uh -huh. Who is the creature? Now I know where he is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lily. I'll, I'll try to ray attack again. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Bacon is screaming, scowling something about you fool! <laughs> Demi is running around like crazy. Roll 1d100. Feet there or below. That's a uh, hit. Oh my. <laughs> you hit. Scorched iguana, guys. Charles, are you averting your gaze? Yep. Okay, successfully. Mm -hmm. So, uh, rolling to hit again. Mm hmm. Nope. Nope, indeed. Uh, Demi, trying to avoid the gaze. Wait, aren't I behind it? It's wheeling around, looking at all things, threatening it. That Sorry, Demi. Motherfucker. Okay, yeah, uh, trying to avert my gaze. How's your fortitude save? A plus two. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can do it. I have this reflex. There's not yet been a, not yet been a reflex save in this entire campaign. <laughs> oh, would you like to be fireballed? Let there can arrange it. <laughs> so, oh, well, I guess it's fine. Charles, you're keeping your gaze above it, just well swinging downwards, and you just lock eyes with Demi as he looks down, looks up at you, and just. She's instant too. Fuck's sake. So is he petrified? Yep. Yep. Yeah, there's the condition on T-Box. I mean... How do you break petrification? Ask the rats that are here. They never figured it out. I mean, uh, if we killed the creature, I could possibly know, or Lily could know. We have a no lot of knowledge arcana. But yeah, it's probably... Carry, yeah him out to the priestess if necessary. Yeah, probably the priestess or maybe killing the creature can break the petrification. That's how it worked for the Gorgon, right? Yeah, you can cast Stone to Flesh. Let's uh, check what level that is. It is oh. a... Uh, <laughs> Sorcerer Wizard oh, 6! <laughs> Okay, so Demi is uh, boned, but you know where it is, Bacon. All right, yeah, I know where it is. Uh, so I can scream my next line. Uh, Your blood is mine. Feels somewhere in the distance a divine force approve your actions. <laughs> okay, roll the 50-50. I'll tell if you hit afterwards. No, it's a miss. Got a one. Okay. It's gonna bite you again. Chomp! It's eight. 
Lily, it sounds like uh, they're doing great. Screaming battle cries, just clanging, stabbing. Maybe you can open your eyes and check how it's going. No. I just cast them on the ray. Okay. Uh, that would hit if you roll the 50-50. <laughs> that would indeed hit. Charles, are you trying to avert your gaze after seeing what happened to Demi? Fortitude save, if you will. But you have plus two. That's a bare pass. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, eviscerate it. Can't wait to count out your blood. So yeah, can't wait to count out your coin. Fucking hell! <laughs> I've not rolled above a ten. I think I haven't rolled above a nine. Ralph! I forgot to one up last turn, so I have still 10 left. Uh, my blade thirst. Okay. Uh, and one did you. I'm still following two is a hit. That's a hit. Okay. You hit it, you feel it bite in, and the grip on your leg loosens. Ah, at you, last. You hear hissing from below. It's like. <sighs> Like it's trying to be pissed, but it's really fucking hurt. It's gonna bite you again. And... Chomp. Pretty sure that hits. Yes. Lily, you heard um, Ralph scream out, at last. <laughs> and then hissing. But his lung is just surfing his head not opening my eyes. And you don't have to, I'm just describing what you're hearing. <laughs> and if I can still get the other two, I wonder what happened to them. <laughs> well, you haven't heard him know. scream, so presumably he's perforating something's nutsack from behind, so... Yeah, he's probably fine. Wouldn't, wouldn't have. <laughs> Missed by two. Charles, are you trying to avert your gaze? Yes. Yes. Just. I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, Please hit. <laughs> Just living dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Just once. Just once. Please hit. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Wow, he's tempting the gods now. Whoa. Demi, oh, fucking god. you are dreaming kitty dreams in a uh, stone prison. <laughs> Amen. Oh, uh, Ralph. Uh, the time has come. And I attack again. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Clang. Yeah, by the way, um, I have H HP left. Someone do something. <laughs> I'm trying here, but I have. Chomp. <laughs> I think you go down the moment your rage ends. <laughs> yep. Oh, I forgot to take down my rage. Um, minus one. Eight left. The hissing is growing uh, louder. It sounds like it's pissed. Lily, what do? Trying. I mean, something has to be going right if the other two also are. Or you could open your eyes and try and. Uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna hold my eyes. Garbage rolls, guys. Okay, like... listen. Um, you know exactly where it is, so, or well, you know the square it's in. So, I'll let you retcon this one as well if you wish. You can try and use magic missiles, but you'll still take the fifty-fifty miss chance. Because you're designating a point blind, you don't know it's actually occupying at the moment. Might be worth it. I'll try yeah. it once. Okay, then uh, do that and roll the 50 50. Could it be two 50 50s because it's two different hits? 
Or it's just one. No, it's the same point. It doesn't have to be technically, but I'm assuming it is. Okay. Then, Charles, are you uh, avoiding its gaze? Apparently Trying not. To. Okay, roll fortitude. Okay, you pass. Hey, you pass. Once again, you, you feel your limbs to start to lock up and you shake it free and just try to bring the maze down. Once, you just need to hit it once. You can see it's nearly dead. Oh my fucking god, I killed it. And then you just twack right in the head, smashing the eyes in. It is at minus seven and bleeding out. Yeah. Uh, Does this actually happen? Ah, uh, Demi is still petrified. As are rats. Uh, I will hit again because I don't know it's dead. <laughs> so, uh, what is, uh, what yeah. is the thing I'm saying? Uh, fuck, I'm ru running out of good uh, lines. Uh, we must act, and I hit it again. <laughs> still blind, are you? You chop it yep. in half. It starts uh, bleeding horribly. So, uh, if someone doesn't say it's dead, I'm going to continue to hit. Yeah, Lily, what do? What do I hear? Uh, bacon screaming. No more hissing, though. I, I call out, is it dead? Or... Do you want to eat more magic just to be sure? No, I, I don't know. No, I, I'm kind of getting low on some stuff. Not in my spell slots, but on an elemental ray, so... Mm-hmm. Charles? I just call out for now. It's over! We killed it! Oh, shit. I just take out my plant phone, just look around. Huh. Neat. And I just fall on the ground dead. <laughs> I am at minus four. <laughs> roll, con uh, roll constitution once to see if you stabilize. Okay, you stabilize. Uh, I'll use the wand on her. Yep. You come around, you just see around the corner just a kitty, just rapier ray, just like. Bacon, you have been healed. You are now fa fatigued for a uh, moment. Yeah, for uh, uh, ten turns. Yeah, it's uh, twice the amount that you are. Uh... Actually, no, it should be twelve. Uh, you came I out, then you were down oh. for one turn. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's like a minute. So yeah, eleven rounds. Yeah, a minute. You may discuss among yourselves. The cat is petrified. Uh, can I roll knowledge arcana? Yeah, go ahead. I'd like yeah. to discuss the current situation, but I am uh, preoccupied. I will probe as well. Okay, you're too tired, you have no idea. Lily, well, you've heard something about this and you start thinking and then you look down and you see that his little kitty bootsies are turning back to their original shape where the blood of the basilisk has touched them. Let's bait him in the blood, guys. That's what takes so. <laughs> That sounds so menacing. Yeah, I, I just said, whoa, that's pretty metal. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. <laughs> we should bait him in the blood of his enemies. So you uh, start slathering we... it on? Yeah. On his face first. Yeah. Okay. No, we need to put uh, him his chest first, otherwise he suffocates. Yeah, uh, I will take a, the other half of the body and try to... <laughs> just the same bring it out over him! <laughs> I just, to avoid the blood, I just take the other half, just put in the position it's not tripping on the floor, and I ask, should we do the, the other rats, or... Uh... Nah. 
they're probably hostile let's try it out given how much you spilled this basilisk only has enough for the cat you'll find out all right yeah i just give a, a blood shower to demi then demi you remember locking eyes with it and things going dark and then it's just like yeah you're tasting something uh coppery it's like you have a nosebleed it's running down your face you open your eyes like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was the only way. Yeah? Bacon is holding half of the creature with organs spilling out over you, over your head. I'm... Gonna try and move out. <laughs> yeah, your muscles feel pretty stiff, but um, they start moving again. I'm, I'm okay. Um, being petrified, not fun, guys. Also, motherfucker looked at me for just a millisecond. Wait, you guys weren't using blindfolds? Why? I just kept my eyes closed after I saw it for the first time. Well, see, my idea was to go over it, which I did, I think. Yeah, well, no, which I did. <laughs> and then stab its eye. And then the motherfucker went, ooh, woo, looked at me, and... <laughs> Hello, I see you there! <laughs> These things are bullshit. Yeah, it's hey, awesome. Terabyte hurts a lot. <laughs> I just look at Jackalot, that's completely intact. Huh. So... He didn't actually hurt it, so he had no reason to target it while you were slicing it to pieces. Yeah, it, it was hard to kill it. So, I'm gonna guess the blood is what makes it stop? Yep. Yeah. You think and you also, it for fun? Wait, now wait, you wait. can... Close it, close it then. Close it up, hold up, close it up. Also, now you can join the cult of Vango. You beefed in the blood of your enemies. Uh, I mean, I was forced to. This is really... But anyways, close the fucking body up. Don't let it pour more blood. We can, we can fucking save some of those... There isn't enough blood left. The soldiers have spilled. Yeah, oh, we so are just... Lily uh... would uh, also know that it's like... Uh, you have like an hour after the creature dies. It loses its potency quickly. Well, now that's that, I guess we can uh, look through this place probably, right? Wait, wait. Uh, I have an idea. We can't save the, these guys, but... Yes. Can we, like, take out their weapons and just put them in the blood so return back to normal? Uh, or the weapons are not affected? I I was not what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, if if the blood's on the ground, which it is, we could maybe roll them in it. I don't think it will work. It will just bring part of them back, and part of them will be stoned and will be a very slow and painful death. And? It's, it's that... Or they're one hundred percent dead, or half dead. No, if you're gonna kill them, we should just break the statue, not torture them. Why would we kill them? Why do exactly. you want to have? Imagine half half your body fucking stone, and you're trying to live. Like they're not going to. If you find extra creatures, we can try to save them. But we can try at least. I don't we're want to torture people for just for the sake of trying to help. The road to hell is paid with good intentions. So, we're just gonna left them here. Uh, okay, sure. You no need problem. like a level 11 wizard to fix them. Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so let's just keep them there, you know, because... Yeah. Yeah, we can get some... Uh, maybe bring them to the city. There could be someone that can magically cancel we... this. How are we going to bring... What, I mean... six statues of man-sized rats with us? And there's a good chance these are titan worshippers, isn't there? Exactly. Maybe. You can just chat on them if you feel bad for them. <laughs> you can take a closer look at the statues, if you wish. Uh, you don't see any of the obvious uh, medallions to the various gods that the good rat that you've seen so far seem to wear. Sure, let's take a closer look. Just to put this discussion to rest. Okay. So, studying them in detail, they seem to be dressed um, in uh, leather armors, similar uh, 
weapons to what you saw the other rats that you fought once upon a time previously before you started just artillery striking them uh, were. So it would be consistent with what you might expect a random warband to have. Don't see anything that would necessarily look like a um, immensely valuable treasure on their bodies. So, uh, should we just... They don't seem to be the good guys. Should we destroy the statues so the souls can move on? Or should we just leave them here? I think we should destroy the statues. It's cruelty to leave them here. Oh, if you wanna smash them, be my guest. Yeah, you can do that. I'm pretty tired and fucked right now. Yeah, I have a mace. I'm gonna smash statues. Okay. So, Jackalore, ever the um, glorious champion of the gods! <laughs> and, um, you know, a worshipper of the Angel of Mercy executes the poor lost souls without mercy. I mean, yeah, he's going to give the mercy of not being just, uh, bound to stone forever. I mean, yeah, yeah that is uh, true enough. I'll send a prayer to for, for each one so that they find peace in the afterlife. <laughs> Some god over there is like, <laughs> Lol, no. Fuck you, Titan Worshippers. <laughs> okay, not important part. We need to find the... the loot. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and give me a... perception check. Uh... Since we're explaining this, no, actually, no, Dungeoneering wouldn't apply, wouldn't be able to be used here, right? Um, I would say yes, actually, if you wish to do that instead, you can. I'll go for that, then. Okay. So, let's see. I think this would qualify as uh, one of those. So, you carefully study the building. You don't find anything in the rooms that are easily accessible. However, there is a space between this stairwell and this room, namely here, that doesn't seem to have an entrance. And it's far too thick to be just a wall. Guys, I, uh... Found the vault. Um, smash the wall? Uh, no. no <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> Cha, don't bless me! Boom! There's usually a form of entrance here. Now, it might have gone away because time, but just... I'm gonna go look at some of the bricks. There's gotta be something, somewhere. Okay, you can make another uh, perception check to try and spot any hidden entrance. Empower uh, Disintegrate a... Trap, uh, CR-16, there we go. Can everyone repair the perception? Or... Yeah, you can. Okay, if I'm looking. All right, Lily. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but sure. I mean, you don't have to look. You can just be like, yo. Okay. Natural 20. Okay. So, you look it over, and you do indeed find a... Uh, Place here where the wall should open up if you press on the uh, one of the bricks in the right way. However, you do have a feeling that you should um, 
how to put this? Um, yeah, with the net 20, you should probably check it for magic. It might not be an ordinary trap in a rich house like this. Yeah, let's detect magic. And you see, poking out just past the very edge of the wall, in a place where one of the bricks has sort of half crumbled, you know how in old walls you have bricks that have half disintegrated, right? You see the faint edge of yep. a spell embedded halfway in the wall. Uh, can I roll spellcraft or something to identify it? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Okay, does spellcraft say what how much you need based on the spell level? Uh, let's see, I look it up. Mm. Identify spells it's being cast, learn a spell, prepare. Okay. So, I would say that it's like plus five, it's already set in place and you don't see them casting it. So you can tell that it's an abjuration spell. You wouldn't be able to tell the exact kind, but it's not very strong. Okay, so there's some sort of abjuration spell, but I can't really tell what it does exactly. I guess I should be the only opening the door? Uh, or, I mean, you said that it's a bit over there, couldn't... I mean, now is a reasonable time where we selectively break a place. Or we just get, grab a very long stick and we push, push it from far away. Does anyone have a 10 foot pole? You can grab like a beam and between the two of you, you can sort of maneuver it into place with a little bit of wriggling around. Yeah, I, I want to be the one behind because uh, I'm still a bit dead, so... I don't trust that much being close to the trap. Okay, so you push in the trigger spot. The wall just whoo, sinks a bit and then just slowly with a nasty grinding screeching sound of tortured rusted metal starts sliding downwards. Oh, the room's being crushed? Uh, no, just no, the uh, wall. This there's wall here. Yep. Yeah, it's just this door, the the wall is sliding down. There's an empty space underneath that it has can go into. Demi. Yeah, I know. I thought it was. You are not hit by any trigger trap yet. I mean, it was uh, abjuration, right? Abjuration isn't in defensive spells. Usually. Yeah, it could be. Uh some uh warding thing uh yeah it's going first wait 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 warding thing yeah i i think like alarm is ab abjuration yeah you know, I, I remember i remember playing a game right where mm -hmm. the whole warding is like if you go in the ward you get zapped and you have to like I you can soak bashing, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the world of dimness got some fucky uh, magical abilities. I mean, the okay. worst that could happen is a banish a spell when you, we go back to Earth. I don't think that's how it works. So I go inside. Yep, so you do. What's Makes your sense. touch AC? Uh, touch AC is 11, unless it is a titan spawn. So you see just a flash of green light erupt around him, and his armor starts sizzling, as does his flesh. Yeah, actually, oh, no, so that, though. actually got <laughs> Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> these words are aggravated damage. So, you take 7 points of acid damage. On the first round, the spell is ongoing. You good? 
Does he look yeah. good? Like, is the spell still in effect? Or is it used up now? The abjuration spell is still there, as far as you can see. The spell is still there, by the way. Just in case you guys are thinking about walking in as well. Pshhh! The spell is still continuing. You see it still around him. Uh, is it, is it, uh, can you see if the, like, energy is reducing? Because this could be, like, a loophole. Is it? I mean, yeah, the we just spell need to that's put cast on him, that, yeah. We just need something that is alive, maybe if we try with plants or, like, tiny animals, it will just use the charges. You take another two points. The spell has attached itself to him. It's continuing to burn him. Oh. Does it show any sign of getting weaker? Looks like, yeah. Does anybody have the spell magic? And now it collapses. Do I look like a lesser level 7? <laughs> okay, uh, that was a lot analyzing of Analyzing his sure. behavior, can I know what spell it is? Uh... Yeah, it looks like he triggered a, triggered an alarm spell, and it triggered a Melf's Acid Arrow, which burned him with acid. Hmm. Makes sense. Uh, Lily, is the alarm spell still up? Yeah, is it? It is. <laughs> it's a permanent alarm spell. <laughs> it seems like it. Hmm. Maybe I... if... If we try to damage the uh, spell inscription, yes, there's loose bricks. That's what I recommended before. I mean, we have the door open now. We just need like uh, to poke with with something long, and I can tie my knife on the log we are using. We used to open, so we can just scrap the magic circle away. Also, um, he's hurting as fuck. I can see him handling it and he's lost half his beard so i think maybe a heal would be required Nah, he looks better than me he's burnt by acid yes and i'm missing still pieces of my leg where a giant lizard bite bit off yeah but i'm more used to seeing you like this than i do see charles though fair point but besides, didn't you say that you always wanted scars, like a fuck ton of them? Um, I mean, I don't think you get scars after uh, you lose a piece of your leg. Technically speaking, it is a scar. It's the really big one. Yeah, <laughs> technically. Technically, the best kind of being right. <laughs> Okay, so what do you wish to do? Demi, do you wish to uh, try and uh, disassemble the trap? Uh, I mean, it's a magical trap. I'm not sure if I can do that. You can. Uh, fuck it, I'll try then. <laughs> yeah, you are the rogue of the party. You should know how to do this kind of stuff. Uh, is it still going to be a disabled device? or? Uh, yes. Does the masterwork tools apply? I think so, yeah. Okay then. You're just, you're just doing bomb defusal on the magic rooms now. Cool. Uh, guys, um, please hold me. So if you see anything green coming, just pull me fast. No, <laughs> uh, it will stay with you. Uh, Lily can use T1 if if you notice. Come on, roll the five. Come on. You start stra scratching those out. Let's see. You are not sure if you should uh, continue with this avenue because... Uh, well, let's put it this way. The runes are already old. And uh, to make a spell permanent or resetting, there's bound to be a lot of energy in them. If you destabilize them too much in the wrong way, it could just discharge in your face. Uh Wait, Lily, can you use your uh, 
your lightning uh, elemental thing on the trap. It could work. Uh. Oh. Huh. Anyway, I can try it if you wish. Yeah, if then we can't do it, is that or we try to brute force with the log to keep us safe. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Where did, uh, looking back, um, at Charles, where did the acid arrow come from? Like, what direction? Like, the middle of the room near the ceiling. It's like... Whew. Hear me out, guys. Maybe we don't have to fuck with the alarm spell. Maybe we can fuck with the acid thing, just by going up a bit and then going from... Any from above. above. Yes. It could work. Now, I, you guys know the magic stuff better, but um, uh, if we accidentally just dislodged it in the middle, essentially, how does that... It was like the point from what you could see that it triggered from Bacon was in midair. So the trap is set in the whole room, and it seems like there's just a point that originates the attack and hits whatever triggers the alarm. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's... It's a very complex thing. Uh, Just, I uh, think we should disable the alarm. We still want that this fix on a visible place. Oh. Does the alarm cover every wall now that we can see it inside? Hmm? Does the alarm spell cover the entire, all of the walls of the room? Or yeah, you see one? faint signs of it elsewhere where bricks have crumbled or where there are gaps. Hmm. It seems that it's embedded in the wall around the entire perimeter of the room. Okay, let's think about this one for a second before we, you know, go for the dangerous option. Now, you guys know this. Are you able to um, make it so, that, like, you know, the magic stuff doesn't activate on a specific individual? Uh, yes, uh when setting the alarm, someone could probably set the condition like a password. Okay. So, how about we go look around just a little bit more, see if there's anything here that might be, um, you know, like, uh, you need like a, I don't know, a bracelet to get in or something. Of course, know. we need to find the diary of the house owner where he described what is, was his password in a coded message. I, you know, honestly, maybe. I don't know. I mean, is that how it works in all our computer RPGs? So should we work on this place as well? Okay, you go looking. Uh, Lily has presumably been looking at this for a little bit with Detect Magic Active. Make me a Spellcraft check. Okay. Yeah, you see energy moving through the uh, spell matrix inside. Can't really figure out what it means, but uh, it's doing something. And the rest of you can make, uh, well, all of you can make perception checks to look for a diary. Diary, notes, symbols, anything really. Hey, Charles, back with the rocks. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, Charles, you do find a hidden compartment elsewhere in the house. It does not hold a diary. It holds an assemblable uh, holy symbol of Chardun, much like you saw before. Oh. Hella cursed. <laughs> I assembled the holy symbol of Chardun and put it inside the trap. Roll a luck die. 1d20. Higher is better. That's exactly the middle, bruh. What's your touch AC? Is that enough? 
Yes. So the green light flashes. Lily, you see the energy just that was gathering previously just whoosh, right into Charles's face and slowly start to gather again. It might need time to recharge. Oh wait, that's uh, not accurate. It should be four. There. Alright, so Lily, you still want on him. Then me, me and you. Quickly, we need to grab everything inside. Yeah, just look at the now slowly burning. <laughs> Charles, get good luck. I uh, used to, yeah, I used to want on her. Uh, I suggest they need just do the thing rather than bacon because bacon might get killed. So here you have three barrels, which are empty, two crates near the back, and a coffer sitting on one of the crates. Get the coffer, that's the good one looking thing. You try to lift it, you can't. It clinks heavily, but it's too full. I I do the correct thing, I blood rage. <laughs> I just rush inside, I grab the coffer. Okay, so gold is uh, very heavy. So let's just um, see how much this would be. So this, considering some of it is going to be in platinum, it's like 60 pounds. Too heavy for little kitty hands. <laughs> yeah, I can carry, carry it easily. May, I may even be on light load when I'm raging. Okay, so <laughs> Bacon just rushes in. Give me that! <laughs> Runs out. Hmm? Um, I'm going to then... In the, in the okay. meantime, yeah, just go You take another... Uh, Hit of acid. I drop it out. Do I have time to go inside and take one of the crates while the damage gets the other? You don't know? Well, we'll try. Yeah, I'm gonna try for the crate. Okay. Let me make a strength check. Bacon, you don't need to worry. What's inside the, uh, the crate first? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I was gonna check what's in the crate, but uh, fuck it. I got this crate. Easy peasy, guys. I'm a strong boy. Okay, you start pushing, it just feet skidding on the ground, like when kitties get the zoomies. Just there's th there's goodies hey. inside. You push them outside. Can you heal me, please? Yeah, just take a charge. It takes you a um, like a minute if you're taking ten. Yeah, it's fine. Huh? I can do that. So you, it stops just barely of you collapsing from from pain. Just barely short, like by one hit point. True crates. And yep. that's the default thing. The barrels, like I said, were empty. You could see the tops were open. They had been plundered. The um, right here. Here's all loot. Crates, when you pry them open, unfortunately, look to be duds. It looks like it's old fabric, which has since disintegrated and molded, and was presumably extremely expensive at one point. The money chest, on the other hand, holds a hundred platinum and three thousand gold. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, so, half is goes to the expedition leader, right? Yeah. And as we, it was just our party, we get the other half. Yes, or rather, it all goes in the pile, but the share you can claim from in either items or gold goes up. So you can just keep the money or you can take it in items if you wish. Uh, so how much do I have to add to the expedition loot pile? 3000 gold, 100 platinum, and your share goes up by 2k. So we have 2875 shares. I'd like That's to fun. invest I'd like to invest in GameStop stocks now. <laughs> it's too late, the dip is gone to me. <laughs> Buy high, sell low. <laughs> Anything you want to claim now that we have a lot of buffer money? Hey Chris, did you, how much money did you make on GameStop? I haven't sold yet, so I technically haven't made any, but like 10k. Nearly. Nice. Well, nice. after taxes, it's gonna be more like uh, 7, but still. Uh, taxes. Just do you need help to, with dodging taxes? Uh, no, I'll be fine. Accountant. I'll be fine. 
let's just let's just keep this a share for now and let's gather everything and then we can choose so in terms of xp the basilisk was worth 1600 total so 400 each and the trap was worth 800 total so 200 each for jack lord's brave sacrifice once again <laughs> so we just need to okay to level four uh you right? also got i believe 600 for your share of the tiger each uh, right. i only gave it to demi or ralph ah okay so, so you yeah. get 600 overall yes so we are at 7k right yes 7k okay. So you need two more thousand. So yeah, you'll probably level up in the city just fine. Mm -hmm. Now now we go outside of this manor to all the priests that are just looking at us basically fucking half dead. Yeah, you walk out in the distance, you hear a fireball going off. <laughs> <laughs> Loud cursing from the other party. Distant clang of metal. Um, was that a trap or your boyfriend? Bet. Bet. <laughs> I mean, it could have been a rat too, right? Did we have fireball? <laughs> the rat is standing in the middle of the street and he asks you, like, <clears throat> is it safe to go in and map it? Did you clear it? Don't, don't go into the secret room to the left where we've left some crates with uh, moldy textures leather things yeah it's there's a spell there uh very strong might kill you very well mate he has the spell <laughs> magic he would be fine Motherfucker! so yeah then it's probably uh, it's probably the elf i mean if it's not the rat it's the elf that's Never gonna be a fireball trap spell. That seems very unlikely. They're eventually gonna come up back. Uh, they look a little better than you, but they're still roughened up. The elf is like wild haired, has that look in his eyes like he's been burning shit. <laughs> Fingers you hold the uh, telltale a stain of sulfur freshly used. What did you guys fight? <laughs> Bunch of vermin. Fuckers just swarmed us. Some kind of animal. Basilisk on our side. Damn. I hate the city. <laughs> Demi, oh, you're straight up having a good time. You're earning lots of money. <laughs> yeah, I, I was about to say, I hate the city. But we found this. <laughs> No, I'm gonna do the classic pirate thing where you like kick it and it opens up. Make an acrobatics check to see if you can pull it off. Ah, come on, motherfucker. Don't spill it, please. Yes! Ooh. You manage it perfectly. Oh, that's cool. He, um, one of them opens, uh, Lashkim just like opens a sack that he had over his back, pulls out a gold goblet which has like jewels on it. We did good too. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time is it like now? Like you have to head back. You've had the full days of activity at this yeah. point. Okay. Bet tomorrow is our lucky day. Do you found a fuck ton of money? How is that not lucky? Yeah, this is lucky day already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, but I personally find a goblin with jewels kind of better. You would want to keep it. I mean, he, he turned in a stone for a while, so yeah, it wasn't his lucky oh. day. Oh. That that wasn't goblins. That was some sort of buzzing thing that uh, just tried to swarm us. Like the air was filled. You could taste the wings in your mouth. It was horrible. Bees? I don't think those were bees. Like all grown mosquitoes, actually. Yeah, I'll take a basilisk. <laughs> Lush Kim just casually, just from gauntlet, pulls out a section of you know, like a fly wing or mosquito wing, just big ass, like yay long across, and it looks like it's just a corner. Bastards. I don't know, you say that, but you weren't the one that the basilisk uh, almost ate his uh, two legs. 
I did turn to stone. I mean, no, clearly you got better. Let's let the let's get the fuck back. Mm hmm So yeah, like um uh, Viraj is gonna tell you to like essentially wait here, kids. <laughs> and um he's gonna do the uh well he's gonna have you uh ideally wait until Arazi is back. But she isn't uh, much longer, she like another twenty minutes she shows up and then he casts his mapping, does your rooms, does however far she got, and uh, you head back to camp. Uh, switches over to the big map. In... Deed. Swamp City. Uh, do we get enough healing to go full so HP? Uh, you have a total Which of... Building? I'm gonna say that you, like, explored this one. Yeah, that's yeah. the big one. That's the one but, we <laughs> But which one did the other guys go to? This one? Uh, like, yeah. uh, well, you're pl heading in this direction, so they went for this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, red. Let's let's be red. Let's be the cool kids. All right. <laughs> Amen. When you wake up in the morning, there's graffiti on the uh, first floor of the uh, keep, uh, Red Team smells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, do the priests manage to heal us to full HP, or...? Uh, so you have four priests total. Merwin used up a fuck ton of his uh, spells and healing, and Arazi and her buddy used up a good chunk as well, but I think there would be enough. At the very least, you can... Each take like four casts of uh, cure light wounds from a level uh, five cleric. So one d eight plus fives. So four d eight. Or well, eight total. Let's say, right? Spread between the so party yeah. as you see fit. That should be enough. Yeah. Nearly. Can I think? Do we do four and four Jackalor or? Oh uh, sure. I mean, you and... have way less HP though. It's already plus fifteen with three d eight. Yeah, I need 21 HP, so yeah, I will take... I'll... You can take 3, I take 5. Plus 10. No, with just 2, I'm fine. Okay. So, and nobody else got uh, hurt other than them in his pride. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good that you bought the soul, huh? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, you wouldn't need anywhere near as much. Well... I wish there was running water here somewhere. Presumably there is water somewhere here. This is a marsh, so... Now only to clean it. Well, technically the priests can purify food and drink if they prepare it. They will tell you to go fuck yourself if you ask for a bath, but they might like, uh, you know, cleanse a picture of it so you can sponge bath yourself. That'll work. That's... This is why I have soap. <laughs> <laughs> so sure. The cat in the morning just standing on top of the key, just sponge bathing. <laughs> I am covered in blood, and I have fur on me. I have gone from looking like a black cat to looking like a red cat. <laughs> Lashkin will offer to shave you to help you with your predicament. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I think that we should wrap here because we are more or less at time. And, uh... Well, Jacklor, how are you enjoying this little expedition into the land of endless horrors? I think it's great. It's great so far, honestly. 
face half burnt. It's great, guys. It's been great. <laughs> Your beard is lopsided, that. though. And he found the acid he wanted, right? Oh. Fuck India. Yeah. <laughs> I did deserve that one. The whole time while you were talking about the trap, it's like, bro, bro, just go in. Just go in, it needs time to reset, just fucking go in. <laughs> 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 Maxi, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I didn't get turned to stone, it was pretty good. Uh, we found money, that was even better. Yeah, it's a pretty nice occasion spot. <laughs> okay, Demi. Basilisks are bullshit. Huh, go figure. Go figure. Bacon. Any reason to use Warcraft 3 codes are, are great, so I enjoyed the fight. <laughs> Basilisk are a goal. Okay. Reminds me of fucking Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh, were there Basilisks there? Yeah, there were like, there were entire maps filled with nothing but Basilisks. Well, a single Basilisk is a CR5, so... You need to level up before I can do that to you. Yeah. I also love how, like, you're talking, you're like, Guys, 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 it's fucking coming! No! <laughs> Just decide! <laughs> like, everyone's like, nah, there's these... They won't just spring shit on us, we have time, we will discuss, pick our engagement, it is fine. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, first part of the campaign, too. Actually, there is one thing that I need to know, because that is, theoretically speaking, possibly more money. What without that holy symbol about Chardoon? What do you want to do with it, Jack Lord? Destroy it, maybe? Oh, okay. It's oh. made of iron because, uh, well, the iron hells of Chardun. You don't, don't just go around destroying roll, holy symbol of another god unless you want a lightning strike on our head. I mean, fair. Oh no, that's in Keely. Chardun will just send devils to drag you to hell. You are going to hell. <laughs> it seems like worth it. The demons are going to be worth XP. The devils actually are going to be worth XP. Yeah, you're the one likely to get demons sent after him. Yep. <laughs> fucking imagine, apostate. <laughs> imagine getting banished and you're like, okay, what fucking plane of hell am I going to? And then you get fucking banished to Brazil. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> it's one of the deepest levels. I think. Uh, they send you to what... Australia and Outback. Oh no. Of course, no. no. It... The truly deepest pits of hell is in China. <laughs> you get <laughs> African Sahara and you're like, oh no, lions. And the first thing you hear is... <laughs> oh my fucking god, Demi. <laughs> what the fuck? You're being racist as fuck. Yeah, I was being racist. No, uh, not, not that much could be worse. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> oh wait, we didn't end the stream. <laughs> No. Yeah! <laughs> we didn't. Exactly, Debbie. Exactly. So say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>